let's go into it anyway, because I'm going to fucking go. Oh. Hello and welcome to The Curious Fijian. I'm your host, Fijian. I'm the co-host, Rain. And Linus has actually rented a room of us. <laughs> <laughs> man, here every other week, you know. I love it, bro. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Shit, man. But uh, obviously, you were here. You were on the other day. Let's fucking. We didn't talk about your fight, so we'll, we'll talk about that, and then we're going full current events. Okay. And actually, right. I want to talk about yeah, the the Luton Town thing. Actually, I want to talk about the Luton Town thing first. A Messi Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of time. We'll get, yeah, we we'll got get, time. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. We'll um, get into it. The, the interview you done yesterday. Did you do the interview? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, no, I went, they invited me down to do the um, kit reveal. Mm. And um, yeah, it was just real. It was like, everyone was like, I got there and they were like, oh, yeah, you know, how are you, like, how are you feeling about all of it? I, you know, I'm doing it. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of doing it and doing this interview. I had to do this thing on the tunnel. Do something on the on the pitch. Do something in the stands and like things like that. And everyone was like, "Oh, why you got this look on your face?" And I was like, "Bruv, before I'm a boxer, I'm a Luton fan first. Yeah. I mean, I'm a Luton fan first. So like, this is mad for me. This is crazy. This is like a, a dream, isn't it? It's yeah. like this is mad. Like, like I'm sitting here in a team I support, like modeling their kit for them." You were modelling it? Yeah, of course. Oh, oh that shit, would have been son. Real yeah, that's it's mad. That like, is mad. It's yeah, just, yeah, yeah it's like, like, obviously it'll come out in like a couple of weeks or whatever, but it's just, like, I can't wait. Like, it's, and you're saying it's, it's a banger? Through. Yeah, oh, I was, I reckon the best kit in the last five, six years. Can you say who we spoke If you watch to the end, he's going to release it. Release the colours. <laughs> no, that's going to be the thumbnail. Linus releases his new little town kit. I need them clicks, man. Oh, hey, the boys be struggling over here. Nah, it's good, it's good, it's good. It, so, can, can you say who they're sponsored, but not the sponsor who makes the kit or not? Who makes the kit? Yeah. yeah are we it's, still, it's still we, Umbro. Oh, is it still Umbro? Yeah, it's still Umbro. It's good. They've done. Li they've listened to what everyone said. Umbro is still going. Yeah. Umbro's all right. Listen, Umbro's been since the 70s. I didn't know bro. they were still going. Umbro's all right. Do you know they still do tracksuits and that? Yeah. Bro, I'm, yeah. I was going to wear a tracksuit. An Umbro tracksuit. <laughs> In here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man. I, I no, thought they were going down. Do, do you know who I'm not fucking with? The kids, Puma. Dead. Really? When we were Puma for that one season, I was like, this is dead. No, I don't what, with the, with the white? Oh, the white they do too I much. I good. think Puma I do too much. Good. The only Puma kit that was nice was Arsenal's one, I think. But Arsenal always Arsenal have nice always kits. Have nice kit, They've always man. got nice kits you can rock with jeans and that. <clears throat> I think Puma's all right. Do you like Puma? I'm not, I'm not fucking I think, with I think Umbro's done better. I think I, 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 but I do like plain. I just like plain stuff. Yeah. Like so, yeah. Umbro's quite plain. It, like Puma, just like there was like three colours just on the sleeve. I don't really? want to be seeing that. Yeah, but I, I, I suppose it. whoever like whoever's in charge, like the, the team at Luton, must decide on what colours and that. No. Is kit, it not the kit? The, the people supplying the kit. the kit normally. Oh yeah. Have a, more of a say. Oh shit. They're man. the ones supplying it, innit? But you were modelling the kit around. I didn't oh, rah, that's mad. I thought Crazy. you said you I went felt, to do I felt, it. I felt like I was getting signed. Yeah. Sat in the chair. What did you do if they like... just pulled out a contract? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. What did you what are you doing? I've asked I've answered the question. No, no, no. We were talking that was the cup, that was the goal. What were we saying? <laughs> yeah. They pull out a contract, they go, You're playing fifteen games this season, like it's on the contract. They're giving you a wage, they're matching you. Yeah. Are you signing it? Are you going? Are you going to play with the boys for one year? Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Tesco value can they, bro? Yeah. <laughs> no, hundred percent. Would you actually do it? Yeah, Put boxing on hold for a that's year. Another, yeah, that's another, that's another dream yeah. come true, isn't it? That is so mad. Asking isn't you, it? would you do it? Yeah. Oh, I, don't it you know. I don't want to go down the road on site. Hey, they're matching. Do you know what I mean? Oh man, fucking hell. Man, matching the money, so you're not dropping no money. There's no yeah. money being dropped, and they just go one year, see how you do. Yeah, no. Then what about if you done good and they were like, yeah, four year deal? Would you, would you, would you go play football, or would you do the boxing four year deal? Let's say. That's just a sticky one, man. Because by the time you, <laughs> how old are you now? Twenty seven. Twenty nine. Twenty. Oh shit! So. Oh, hey, you look alright, man. Yeah, you, you look alright. Cocoa butter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Black don't crack, man. Hey, sponsor coming soon. <laughs> code Nigerian. That's gonna be the code. Um, <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we started early, yeah, 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 yeah. Start you can't early. say that word on YouTube, man. You fucking <laughs> goat. Look at this guy, man. <laughs> Scaring the people. Like, someone actually said to me the other day, they go, one criticism, uh, he can't be sn snorting in the mic. Bro, the geezer sound like he done an hey, eight uh, ball of coke before he come <laughs> on the podcast. He's like, <laughs> but he don't move. He don't go, he just goes. <laughs> I said I had hay fever that, man. I, I shouted it out. 
Hay fever. Do you get hay fever? Bad. Oh, but man. inconsistent though. Like one one morning I wake up. And you, whoa, I just want to get you just blow my head off. I'm yeah. like, no, nah, allow it. Like, there's no matter. Is it that bad? No matter. Oh, yeah. Is that Listen, bad? No, I've been waking up middle of the night. Just like you know what it is as well. My hay fever is like. Dumb, it's just it's bipolar. Yeah, some <laughs> some days, yeah, I'll go through like today. I've been sweet, yeah, I've been sweet all day, all day. And then I, as soon as I get into bed, as soon as my head touches a pillow, my nose starts going, and I'm like, allow it. Then I start sniffling and sneezing. It's like I come in here, yeah, it's night. like it's dusty, and I something just got up my nose. And that was <laughs> it, man. It was it. It was like yeah. game over. Like I should have called it off. What pillows do you use? <laughs> But I might be helping you out here. If you use, do you use um like man trying to spoon? Man trying to spoon. It did sound sus. Wait, wait, is that your boy? Who's your boy, bro? Oh, I ain't even gonna say, but that is mad. Oh shit, oh, we might have to. People, thank hey, you for man. tuning in. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. What, yeah, what pillows? Um. You don't use feather pillows. No, no, no. no. I, right. bro, I'm not middle class, bro. No, no. Are <laughs> you rich, rich man? Nah, you don't look Fernando I got an Who allergy reads, to feather pillows, and it? that makes my nose and everything go off. That's mad. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, people, yeah, it's a bad one, man. Yeah. If you get it, it's dust as well, though, I think, man. Swear down when my room gets dusty, man. Just That's fuck, why I brought man. that dust. That to be dust fair, stuff. if I leave my window open at night, like today I left it yeah. open in the morning, man. I was fucking clotted. My eyes, man, yeah. fucking hurt. <laughs> you just wake up. You, know, you just wake up. I'm in a coma. Uncomfortable. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just wake up. You just. Just you just oh, I just I don't hardly even explain it. It's, it's just I, I don't think I've really had hay fever then. Uh, you're good. Yeah, I don't think you're I get good. it. Yeah, you're and, good. and round here we're like it's just filled country. Be beat it country. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, no, yeah, it gets it gets like that. Hay fever's, <laughs> hay fever's hurt some people this year, man. Yeah. It hurt some people this year. But uh, obviously, let's let's go on to the fight. Um, what? Yeah. Obviously close race it was watching at home it was it was like it was razor close for an maybe not for a, for a boxing specialist who knows what they're kind of looking at mm. what scores points but like we were saying before after the lewis williams pod when you when you're hearing the because the commentators didn't help for the people watching at home because mm. they were proper bigging up denzel whenever mm. he done his little like yeah, 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 yeah. flurries and then when you were doing the clean work they were like do you know what yeah, I mean? So doing what, all right, but it weren't the yeah, same energy. What, yeah, what, what do you... F yeah, how do you think the fight went for yourself, really? I think I did... I think I did what I knew I could do, do you know what I mean? Like, obviously, obviously, I could sit here and be like, oh, yeah, do you know what? Nah, I think I won and this and this. And I think I genuinely think I won. But when that decision comes in, you got to look at it as, you know what? Yeah, I think I won, but it's not about that anymore. Mm. You got to look at why they might have given it to him, why what he might have done for them to give it to him, what I was not doing or doing for them to give it to him. You got to kind of open your mind and go, you know what it is, it is what it is. It's not a lost lesson. Let's learn from it now. Mm. Let's have a look. Um, I feel like I, do you know what I mean, I feel like I announced myself. I feel like I said I did everything that I knew I could. I felt like I've got more gears to go than that, but. I don't know. I felt like it was it was good viewing. You know what yeah, I mean, like the last round, you come out like you, you obviously yeah. your team must like, have thought you won. Yeah. yeah, everyone was like, I sat you down. You reckon the crowd and that has something to do with it as well, though? Like, yeah, I mean, he's corner with that guy in the back. Was oh, just, he's doing my head in. Yeah. Oh man, do you know what? It, do you know what it is? You do, and like, I, look, I've never judged on a professional level, but I've judged on like <laughs> let's say, uh, <laughs> unlicensed level, and it's, it's it's laughable, but. Let's say you're watching two guys fighting and you're trying to look at it as, you know, this is boxing. This punches count, ring control counts. You know, let's say no punches have been landed. Who's doing what they want to do because they want to do it? Like who is, let's say this guy's pushing this guy back. He's not landing anything, 
but he's making that guy go backwards or is that guy going backwards because he wants to you got to look so at it's yeah. like really being more busy down. but yeah. he's not actually doing anything yeah he's not doing anything but is he is he going forward because that's what he's what he wants to do mm-hmm. and is that guy going backwards because that's what he wants to do you got to look you got to strip it down and that's how I look at it but then as soon as mate hits the guy's gloves even though it ain't landing everyone goes nuts for it your head starts to swear and go, oh, you know what? He's probably winning that round because everyone's, you know, it just looks like he's yeah, winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I get it. I get, you know, everyone's, look, the referee's got a hard job. The commission's got a hard job. The judges have got a hard job. I've got a hard job to win the fight and things like that. So I, I ain't got no hard feelings against yeah. the judges. But, the, however, you know, finishing the fight and I was just like, I, my, the coach just said to me when you sat down, I was like, they said, Stay on your stay on your feet. Don't get put on your ass. Don't do nothing stupid. Just don't get put on your ass this round, and that's it. You become a British champion. You make history. That's it. You're done. Like after this round, don't get put on your ass. You're done. Oh, sweet. Went out. I don't think I got hit that round. No, he just Danced kept about, walking yeah. towards you. you Danced were, about, moved. Everything. Yeah, making a miss. And it, if last... anything, you would have thought his corner would have told him he needs a knockout this round because he come out he like come he out. was he was like a ball in a uh, china 100%. shop, like he needed to put you down. But it, it look, is what like, I get. I ain't got no hard feelings towards it. It's just it's just another part of it. it and happened, I wouldn't say it was a robbery. No, it wasn't no, a was, robbery. It like it was a close fight. It wasn't. Yeah, if it was like a Taylor Carroll, yeah, like yeah, Josh Taylor Carroll, then you can go oh, robbery. But nah, even I don't think it's, it's a close fight. Yeah, could have gone either way. One judge said me, and the other judge said him. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. it's, it's one of those. It is what it is, and um, yeah, and you just kind of now I'm at a point where because you go through a few things when you, let's say you've worked for something and it hasn't happened, you almost you go through like. I'd say stages of grief, in my opinion, um, respectfully, yeah, is you um, you go through like, you know, you're sad at first. You, you know, I went back into the change room and I was like, I walked in there and it was fucking heartbreaking. And like everyone in there is like, they're all in there. Everyone, all my team's in there and I was, and everyone's just quiet. And I was just like, Bruh. The emotions must just be gone. Yeah, it is yeah, grief. Going through the it is, it is yeah, like every, grief, everyone, yeah, it, it was like yeah. in there. And you know what as well, I got to like do a special shout out to some, a couple of, people that a lot of the reporters that was around me like a lot of the a couple of boxing reporters that were around me coming up to that fight and they were the same people in that room after a lot of people weren't you know what yeah, I mean? there was yeah. a lot of people that around me that weren't after do you know what I'm saying yeah, so a lot you of people see the people who were, who were yeah there were a lot of people that were knocking on my door you know let's have an interview let's do this and they weren't there they it's, weren't do you know what I mean I, I think I did two interviews right? mm. but before 20, 30. Yeah. You know I mean? And then after, two interviews. You know what I mean? It is That's what it why is. people it get is. like that with fighting, where they won't do interviews with certain yeah. people after like little things mm. like that. Because I think things like that stick with you. You know yeah. who's around you when you've lost. You know who's messaged mm. you. You know who's been there. You know who ain't been there. Mm. But, you know, but, you know, realistically, like after, you know, the massive shout out to like certain people that just were with me. And, you know, what I mean, there was a lot of, I thought, I didn't know. I've never lost. I haven't lost in, I haven't lost a fight in. I'd say maybe seven years, six yeah. years now. And that happening, I was just like, what's going to happen? I, what's social media going to be like? What's the reaction going to be like? How are people going to treat me? What's going, do you know what I mean? What, what's, what's the crack? Not even just social media, but people around me. Well, how is it? Having to go and see groups of people, certain groups of people, friendship groups and that, it was just, I didn't want to do it. Yeah. Proper was like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to face, I don't want to talk about it, I don't want to, just like, don't be wrong, I'm, I'm going to talk about it, I don't want to then walk, initially walk into yeah, yeah, a yeah. room, do you know what I mean? And it is what it is, it was, it was to be fair, the reactions were all good and, um, the right people were there and it was, it was all good, it was like, um, and yeah, I walked in the change room and I was like, I went up to my coach and he gave me a hug and I was just like, this is dead. and I was just like, I thought I'd done it. I just thought I'd done it. And then I started break break down, started crying. Mm. And I was just like, oh, it just it hurt a bit. Then, you know, pulled it together. I had to do a drugs test and um went back to my hotel after. And this is the real heartbreaking bit. So the night before, I'd set up like a table in my hotel to where I'd after winning the belt, I'd put it down, go to sleep or whatever. Next morning of the fight, like after the fight, I'd wake up and the belt's there. So the heartbreaking thing waking up the next day yeah and the belt there. I was just like I got up here and I just threw my pillow like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just it nah, that's the, I, I like hearing yeah, that those of it man definitely yeah, yeah it's ticking good. up yeah it's good <laughs> we got some scam here <laughs> <laughs> we got some scam artists <laughs> did <laughs> no but I, I like hearing that sort of stuff because it makes it sweeter for the journey mm. do you know what I mean it, it almost yeah it, everyone wants to go unbeaten but because of this bullshit Mayweather thing but it is it is 
it's unrealistic for a lot of people. That's all like, out of your hands because it wasn't like a bat. You didn't get no, it wasn't a yeah. 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 So, so it's not like a chin, you know? no. So when when you ain't seen it's that belt there, when it's a WBC uh, belt or a European title, it's, or, bigger, it's yeah. gonna be sweet. Do you mm. know what I mean? It's gonna be so sweet when it's like, yeah, it didn't happen then, but next time. Mm. Yeah, no, yeah, no, hundred percent. Yeah, but it's, I think it's just shit. It is yeah. trained yeah. all for it's that. Done all that, and then but, for at the end, where it could have gone, I. Either way, well, Groves was giving it to you. So it's sort of mm. like, I don't really know how to judge, but... I don't know how to judge, but I... But how you come out at the end was like, yeah, you've won. Mm. That's what I was thinking, like, bro, like, he's just backing it off. You're, you're just... You don't want to get knocked down. You're just staying just away. You're yeah, you're, you're like, you're it, doing yeah. doing the thing. So it's sort of like... But what? Know, but man. more importantly, I think the, like, important question of it is, like, what have you learned coming out of it? Oh, my God. I feel like... I feel like... So I had, what, 18 fights now. I feel like I've learned more... In that one, in that one, then like the last 17, because it was just like I learned so much about myself. I learned what level I was. I always knew, it was wrong, I always knew that I was top class. However, I looked at there was times in a fight where I'm like doing stuff and I'm like, rah, should it be this easy? Should I be like, like I'm, I'm here, mate, throws a shot, I've slipped this way, jabbed them, done this, boom, boom, made them look like this. And I'm thinking, rah. Shit, man, this is this guy's won this before. This guy's, you know, he's like, he's been at this level. He's bona fide at this level. Everyone's like, yeah, this is the man. Do you know what I mean? And realistically, I took on the hardest hitting middleweight domestically. Do you know what yeah. I mean? His knockout ratio is like seventy eight percent or something. Like yeah. he's not, he's only not knocked out like two people. Do you know what I mean? And I'm just like, like, bro, like I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? At times, I'm like comfortable getting yeah, back into the mad, corner. Isn't it? Yeah, like I'm an eleventh round, tenth round. I'm like. I'm not even. Uh, and I you feel fucked. And feel, you know, good, like, because I mean. obviously he did hit you with some shots. Like, yeah, it's probably yeah. the first time where you're actually getting, where mm. he was hitting you and he was mm. pressuring you and swarming you. Yeah. So to get to that 12th round, it's like, you're still in there. Mm. You can move and you can try. Now you know you can you can be in a dog fight, make it, and then get your second wind and carry on. Yeah. But some yeah. people don't ever find that out. Yeah. Until oh, it's too late. You're fighting yeah. someone too good who can. Put the pressure through you. Like yeah, that team, you know? that's what I mean. You learn so much from lessons, though, man. I lost. Mm. Yeah, you do. Yeah, they're lessons, lessons isn't not they? even like, losses. They're not even lost. Like you get to see who you are. You know what I mean? You, oh, you, your true self. Yeah, massively. I think. Like, I think after that, and obviously, learned some personal <laughs> things about myself, some mental things, physical things, and emotional things. You know what I mean? I've, I found out a lot of things about certain people. I found out a lot of things about myself. Found out so many different things, and like physically as well. When I walked back into the gym. Not the aura, but everything. I don't know. I just felt different. Mm. Walk back in the gym. I just felt different. I felt like I just stepped up another level. Yeah, it was a lot. I felt like I just everything I was doing was just a bit different when I went yeah. back. Do you know what I mean? Everything I was doing was just a little bit different, a little bit sharper, a little bit more focused. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you deep things in it a lot more. When something, when something traumatic happens, or something, or your grief, or like you said, loss, or like. You just focus a lot more on mm. everything. Everything's like a fine detail. Like mm. you, you look at everything, man. Like you say, it's like a flower and you, you've peeled a layer and now a new layer's grown. It's sort of it's yeah, similar yeah, to like yeah, that. Yeah. Like an old layer's fell off and mm. now you're growing a new layer because you've, you've been... But it's, it's, it's only if you take them lessons with you, mm. which obviously you're a smart person. Like, yeah, some people you, just some like people take a take, loss and they'll yeah. be like... That's me, I'm done. Like, uh, mm. Yeah, like, I can't. No, you can't. Yeah, like... No, you, I feel like that's just life. Mm, yeah, roll with it, it, man. It's a it, roller coaster. It, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Does it give you confidence? You, like you fought him. If mm. you were to fight him again or fight anyone at higher levels, does it give you confidence? Like, yeah, next time I go in there, I'm gonna impose myself how I yeah. want to fight. Oh, massively! Like again, I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about what I could do. Do you know what I mean? I learned, and, and you know, 36 minutes of fighting isn't a long time to figure someone out at a high level, impose your will stop them imposing theirs, get comfortable, not get complacent. It's it's not a long time to get all those things and let it all gel. A lot of things will happen in between. You're going to be comfortable. All of a sudden, you're going to be uncomfortable. Like, I think in one of the rounds, I'd hurt him, but like, I'd like kind of caught him and I see him stiffen up on his feet and I went, sweet. And I saw, mate, I saw everything. I saw belt, I saw money, I saw... <laughs> I saw records being broken. I saw every. I, it's mad I saw, how like you did you. Everything. Your, your, everything. your brain just like going. I jumped on it. Started getting into a bit of a dog fight. Do you know what I mean? And the coach was like, "Listen, throw that out the window and get back to your boxing." Yeah. yeah, I know you. I know you hurt him, but 
It's not really relax. Like, leave yeah, it. Yeah. And you know, it, it's you know, you again I learn from that. Yeah. You learn from that. You know, next time say you hurt someone again, just the lights stick to are bright, your game. But they ain't gonna blind you this yeah, time. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, I just saw the lights and so it was and again, all of this, when I say this, is no disrespect to Denzel. I think he's a very good fighter. With with different, with different, very different fighters. You know what I mean? He relies on certain things, I rely on certain things. And yeah, he won the fight. And I feel like he's scruffy. Say, you're a yeah. you're a boxer. Yeah, I'm clean. You, you you box, but yeah. yeah he's you a know, bit obviously, more like Yeah. Dirty. And obviously, you know, to some judges it worked for him. So I c I can't I can't play it down. I can't say, Oh yeah, you know, he got lucky or he, he shouldn't have been there. You know what I mean? He beat me, so I can't I can't say too much about mm. it. I kinda of gotta just take it and see if our paths cross again. I mean, he's a very good fighter and division stacked with a lot of good fighters and I put myself up there now and I just got to kind of keep my head down and um, get training. It's not, it's it's not, it's, it's not, it's not going to affect me in a sense of, oh my God, I can't believe I lost. I can't, you know, I'm just with this chip on my soul. It is what it is. Yeah. Well, you're too, and, you're too savvy yeah. for that. And some people would though, let that affect them. But that's just like life. Like mm. you, if you lose something in life, you something don't go your way, what? You're gonna sit there and cry about it, or you're gonna get better. Mm. So, like, come on, man. Yeah. It only stops you mm. from progressing. So, like, move, keep it moving. So, what what do you think's next? Obviously, it's probably too early to tell, but I know you've had uh, meetings with your management and stuff like that. So, what what is next for you? Um, well, I I think I'm getting out in September and just waiting for an actual official date and things to get announced. We probably won't come till like late July anyway. Um, your opponent still is trying to sort things out, whatever it's for, still trying to sort it out. All I know is it's going to be on Channel 5, probably back at the end of the mm. Um But I don't actually know yet. I'm just, you know, I'm raring to go again. It's not like, you know, there's um like stages where I'm at in my career now, is, you know, title level, a high level. And, you know what I mean? Not like, you know what, a few fights away from like fighting at world level. Like it, You've got to manage it carefully so it's not like I need a confidence building fight coming back I feel like I can go straight into another title fight British Commonwealth whatever I feel like I can go into it obviously my management do their their job and promotes do their job I just got to do mine I got to get ready for my fight and yeah you know I mean fight and beat beat people but I don't feel like I need it's not like I went out there and got chinned and I need nah. like a little tune no, up to yeah, come yeah, back yeah. in is there a lot of politics in it or, not or playing the game like you got to pick you need to it's not it's not Sorry, really, let, it's let not really... <laughs> so, I don't know why it's, it's just annoying me the way it is I keep looking at it he looks me in the eye I don't I don't I'm just looking I'm just trying to see for, for the camera like the mouth and thingy hey there's a lot so you see what I'm saying you're seeing belts, so, money, all so that. I'm stuff. seeing lights, yeah, cameras, yeah, yeah. Action. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Curious featuring, <laughs> fucking Joe Rogan. Do you know what I mean? I'm all like on that. Like. <laughs> um, no, it's not. It's not that deep. I don't know. There's a few. There's a few paths. Personally, the I I leave everything to everyone. Everyone's got their job. Everyone's got a job. Every I've got. I just need to win my fights. Fight, win them. Train, That's it. And train. Yeah, train. Just get your head down. Um, Promoters have got to promote. Get the fight on a network and promote the shit out of it. Get people watching it. Um, my trainer's got to make me the best I can be. My manager's got to get the right fights at the right time with the right money and the right everything. Everyone's got their job. So, I, you know, the politics isn't down to you. really, yeah, down to me. And in a perfect world, it normally just works out. I've never really had too many, too much politics. It only gets weird when fights get made by like people calling each other out on like mm. Twitter and things like that. It, that's the only time it gets really political, but other than that, it's fights are quite easy. Surprisingly, I don't know. I suppose you trash a team as well. Yeah. yeah not, I don't think they're that hard to be made. Everyone yeah. said, you say to me, oh yeah, fights are really hard to be made at a high level. And I think when there's a lot of people- You know, there's the, probably just too much politics involved yeah. in that side though, isn't it? Because mm. that's just people getting greedy and money and yeah. all of this. And I want to wear- uh, blue shorts and walk out first nah, to this nah, music nah, nah. this loud like boxing gets weird like that nah. really like Amir Khan and Calvert what are they talking about oh, gloves uh, gloves and yeah, to two walks first and oh you can't yeah. wear these gloves and no, no that's very I think that's the one percent club it's, yeah. it's never really I don't think it's, ever, it's never really like that it's it's not That's even true. about money. One I can't wait for that day yeah, he's fighting for a it's WBC never, or something yeah. like that. And and the guy's like, nah, you've got to walk out a second. You can't wear them gloves. And then he's doing an interview about that. I'm going to fucking bring this up. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I've never walked out first. I no. Yeah. I don't think Who wanting. walks out first? The the uh, the challenger? Normally, yeah. Yeah. Normally, yeah. But it depends. If the belt's <laughs> vacant, now I've seen a lot of people are doing coin tosses. 
<laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> coin tosses. Yeah, a lot of people are doing coin tosses. So it'll be like, oh, okay, we're going to do a coin toss for who walks out first. But it'll be who gets announced first. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. if I win the coin toss, I walk out first, but I get announced first. Yeah, yeah. I'll be second, sorry. Do you know what I mean? But surely all this doesn't matter. It, it, look, does it? Like, do you, does yeah, it? Yeah but, yeah, but you say that. You say that. Yeah, but hear me out. You say that. So yeah. you walk out first. Yeah. You're not talking yeah. to this, this You've man. got... Pillow, pillow, pillow man. Yeah, so, no, so yeah, Pillow Manjaro. Love it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if you walk out first, you've probably got from when you get into the ring and then I get into the ring and then we get called out and then we actually start fighting. You've got eight minutes... So that's eight minutes. You've warmed up and now you're standing around the ring waiting for me to do whatever I have to do. I want to be the second person. I, I'm still warm and I've got in the ring. All I have to do is take my thing off. Yeah, just come ready. And I start yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when you're the first person, person, you're standing around. Mm. You're standing. Imagine when, we'll say, AJ did that ring walk where it took like 20 minutes. Are you about oh, all that? T- Tyson Fury. No. Tyson Fury. I don't, I don't like all that walk. shit. But to be fair though, for, for, he for had the... to do that walk, I think, man. <clears throat> he probably sold out fuck it. Was yeah. It pr- nah, for, for, the, for the, look, for the Come on, man. For the fans. Yeah, I think, I think for the aesthetic, yes. For the for for, lo- for logic and actually practicality, no, I think it's awful. I think it doesn't. You you warm up, and then all of a sudden you cool down because you're doing all this. You've been walking out and all this shit. You know what I mean? This, I, this I is a boxing thing. Like this is a boxing thing. I'm not about all this. I don't want to see your man walk around the whole football field. He walked around the whole football field of Wembley. Don't want to see like, that UFC style. Get in, get in, fight. It's not UFC though. It's I know fucking it's not. British this is boxing, the problem, mate. You I know think what I mean? I think in in respect the, the, the UFC, even the, the press conference. What's what's the matter? Oh, hello. Today's podcast is sponsored by Manscaped. It's officially summertime and everybody talks about looking good for the warmer months, but few have the balls to do it. Well, it's time to nut up or shut up and take the easiest step to looking sexy this summer by using Manscaped. Manscaped's ultra smooth package makes sure you have the proper care for down there and their Boxers 2.0 gives you the perfect stage to show off the new look. People, I am wearing the Boxers 2.0. And honestly, when I first put them on, I'll be honest, I was thinking, hey, these boys are hugging. They're hugging. And then gave it 10 minutes. I'm walking around. I'm like, it's like the nuts are just being cradled. It's like someone's someone's got them and just says, hey, you, you're OK now. You're safe. You're safe with me. So I do actually recommend them. I think I'm going to go back on there, use my own code and get the uh, free for 30. So, hey, hold me to it. If I ain't wearing new boxes in the next episode, hold me to it. These products may make you look hot, but your cleanly shaved nevers will keep you cool. And the Boxers 2.0 pattern jewel pouch technology will keep your boys from turning any beach day into a swamp day. Dive headfirst into summer by joining the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com forward slash Fijian. The Ultra Smooth Package is a specialised three-step groin shaving kit to help you buff, protect and smooth your most sensitive areas. I'm talking crop shaver razor, crop exfoliator and crop gel. This kit is the perfect polish to make your family jewels shine. Women, this is probably one for you to get for your men because the men out here ain't going to say if their balls are looking a bit ropey, but you know. Wives, girlfriends, you know. So help your boys out, get them a little present Say it's from the Fijian, use code Fijian, and everyone's good. Get 20% off plus free shipping with code Fijian at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with code Fijian at manscaped.com. There are so few perfect summer days. Don't let hot, sweaty balls ruin them. Stay fresh, clean, and smelling good with Manscaped. People, your missus will thank you, your wives will thank you, and the Fijian will thank you. Would you reckon to uh, Usyk AJ? Um, I think Usyk wins again. I think he stops him this time. Yeah, um, yeah. Because um, I don't know. I think AJ is fundamentally a good boxer. He does a lot of things well. Um, holds a lot of good power, good speed. I don't really think his boxing brain's there. <clears throat> I don't think he's. You reckon he's got the passion anymore? Is he just? 
Yeah, I think that's was good he, as well. He, I think, yeah. I think has he ever went, been a good boxer? Yeah, I, yeah, I think he. Yeah, I think he has. I think he's very tidy. I think he's tidy, but I think I think it's because now he's actually fighting someone that can box. Yeah, it always like, thought, thought the first time he got. I mean, he yeah. got he got picked apart. I think I think it gets worse. I think AJ does get better, and his strategy is going to be different. But I, you know, if he doesn't get him out early, I feel like he's got a bully, man. Like, yeah, but, yeah, but come out, like, for I'm, twelve rounds. No, I mean, like, he's got to get him out early. like three, early. yeah, three, four rounds. Early. But then use your power. If, if he doesn't, he's getting put out. Yeah, and I don't think he will. Like, I don't. I mean, I've barely seen Usyk hurt. Yeah. Do you not think he's lost like a little bit of what he used to do of going in there and trying to knock someone out? A little bit. He's, he has mm. gone too technical with it. I think. I, I wouldn't say too technical. I think he's lost. I think his soul's gone a bit. Like I think I I, I, don't, I can't speak on a man's life. I, I don't know if he's made too much money. I don't know if he's just in a bit where he's kind of like oh, God, I don't really care. I've done it. I've won the heavyweight championship. Lost it. Won it again. What else is really there? Do you know what I mean? What do I really care? I can. He do definitely few... changed. Even the way he, how he speaks. Now. He's very positive. He's just like he's humble. He's yeah. like he's got not. He's gone. Like this man's fighting. He's Lost got, U- ego, he's got Ukraine on the back. You know what I mean? He's mm. coming with an army. Yeah, no. He's it's... fighting for his whole country. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's a it's a weird one as well. <laughs> and like you know what as well like it's you don't you don't, you don't get as much uh, respect as he deserves in my opinion because without AJ British boxing wouldn't be where it is. Like you know what I mean? He's in my yeah, opinion the sole defense. reason British boxing is as popular as it as popular as it is. You know what I mean? Like, um, and. But I, I don't know, you know, I think some bad PR, you know, got a lot of people, turned turn a lot of people against him. And I don't know, everyone just seems to not like him now. Yeah, I don't it's, know, weird, it's weird. It? I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I, I, you know, maybe, everyone loved him. Yeah, now, and now knows. everyone, nobody likes him. It's, it's weird, it's weird. I never like, used to like Tyson Fury. Do, do you not think it's since Tyson Fury's come up though? Like, as in, yeah, because I never yeah, liked Tyson since, Fury, but now I like now Tyson Fury. Yeah, ever yeah. since well, it's like, divided so, yeah. the population, because I remember watching um, AJ versus Klitschko and the whole country was back in AJ, like mm. everybody. And now it feels like the opposite. It feels like everyone's back in Tyson and now... AJ's got loads of haters. Yeah, it's a weird one. I I, I couldn't tell you where it comes from. I I still, I, I've always felt the same way about AJ. I thought, do your thing, but like, you know what I mean. See how far you can go. I think technically you're okay. I think there's, you fight someone like Tyson Fury. There's no, like, there's no, there's no question about what happens there. Yeah. Um, and I've always said it. Like you know, if he fights a top heavyweight, <clears throat> I I don't think it goes well for him. I don't I don't think it it goes really well for him. I think he's been managed very well and now he's at the point where I won't say cashing out because even if he loses to Usic he can still fight Dillian White and sell out he can still fight Tyson Fury and sell out he can fight a lot of the top five heavyweights and still sell out a lot of stadiums whether it is people that want him to win or not I think he's still a draw and I, I don't know I don't know where the, I don't know where the man is personally I think he's lost something whether it's passion soul he's made too much I don't know whether it is he's, he's, he hasn't got it anymore whatever I feel like oh, oh, if he loses this I feel like he's out what do you mean? In his own head, or uh, no? I feel like he'd come out of boxing because he's already said before, like when you when you watch him, like, he says he literally wants to win all the belts and he's out. That's him done. Well, he has like, to. He, he has to. Fight. I don't. I don't. Like, and if he loses this, I think he'd just be like, I'm done. If he wins this, I don't he... think he'd chase it. He, like he says, you don't want to be here battering his brain and that. Mm. Like, he's got a kid. He's obviously got. He's got. Dough, <clears> you know what I mean? He's got long dough. He's not dumb. He's probably mm. got investments and that. Like, how far do you really think you can go? Like it's, yeah. it's more of its ego, isn't it? Can you like, can you leave it alone? Of course, you want it to become undisputed. Is it going to be possible? That's what the question you have to ask yourself. If you lose again, because really and truly, you shouldn't be losing. You're a heavyweight, man. Yeah, but he is one of the best fighters in the world, technically, Usyk. He's yeah, like he unreal, is, isn't it? But yeah. you're meant to be like heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah, but it, like, you know, I, uh, yeah, but, yeah, but a, a very good smaller man beats a good bigger man. In my opinion, I always think true, if you're, true. Do you know what I mean, Usyk is. I always said it. Everyone's like, oh, you know what? You think an Usyk beats Usyk? Yeah, I think he boxes it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he nah. boxes his head off. But I, I don't know. Like he's, he's got a second. He's got like he's got a hard route. You know what I mean? He's got a hard route to to try and get his belts back. In my opinion, I think um, I think Usyk batters him. In my opinion, I think he mm. doesn't this time. Do you also think he's like too much <clears throat> muscle? No, because I think that helped him a lot in to get him where he is now. Like, I think that helped him massively, um, especially with like 
the star power as well, like marketing him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, tall, easy tall, dark, to and handsome, good looking. You know what I mean? Good shape. Obviously, holds a lot of power, holds a lot of speed for someone that size as well. I don't think he's ever hindered him, but with someone that big, you know, you can't. You're not going to be able to push out a certain amount of output for that amount of time. Like even Fury can't do it. Usyk can't do it. Everyone, you know what I mean? I just don't. I think is. Um, I don't know. This is what I say about his boxing brain. I don't really think he knows how to use those fundamentals, take the breaks when he needs to. Do you know what I mean? He so, gets, his level gets like, exposed a lot. Yeah. So you say if he did trim down, you don't think he'd still be able to compete at a boxing level with that, like Usyk or Fury? Do you reckon he'd be no, better I'm with never... his trainer? A different trainer? It's, it's hard. Different. I don't know. I think he's jumped too many. There's too many, too many cooks now in the kitchen, you know what I mean? Like, McCracken had him doing something else. <laughs> Angel Fernandez had him trying to box and do this. McCracken had him trying to do all this. And then now Robert Garcia is trying to get him to, like, fight more. And you're like, dude, this, you're trying to make... You know what I mean? There's too many people trying to... And he's he's done it rapidly. He's done it in a space of, like, three years, maybe. Yeah, he's yeah. jumping around and it's, it's just never going to... At that level as well, you can't, can't expect to just gel with you, you know, straight away. And I don't... I don't know. I think I think you can with the right trainer, but he needs he needs time with it. I think he's um, I don't know. I think he well he's too marketable to kind of step him out of the title contention. But step him out of the title contention, let him have a few fights, and then gel with his trainer, and then get him back into top level. But you can't. Yeah, you know, I mean, right now is the time to strike while the iron's hot. So you've kind of got to throw him in there. I I don't think muscle and size was ever the problem. I think it's just ability. I think Usic just Usic and Fury they're just better. You just get the boxer man. Yeah. Conspiracies. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready for it? <clears throat> Whoa. Conspiracy light. What do you think this is? We're man? going, man. It's like the Schultz pod. And then go party, bro. This is this is Mandingo party. Nah. Um Mike's has been racking up. People want the conspiracy pods. People love the... They love conspiracy... Before we go on to conspiracies, let's go on... We'll, we'll do Messi and Ronaldo. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Mike. Messi and Ronaldo first, then we're going to go on to conspiracies. Yeah, but I, we'll let Mike uh, set up. Uh, fuck it. Just use your speech. Messi... Or, I, I don't even like comparing them, it's not, personally. I, I personally don't like comparing them, but everyone do does that. it. Yeah, I don't like comparing I don't them. Like, I think I, they're I two think, completely different players. I think two legends can coexist. Yeah. But you know, I only like Ronaldo. I just like because he's work great. Yes, I like how he's how he's still doing it at the age yeah. he is. You know what mm. I mean? Nutrition, sleep, mm. diet. Like he's an advocate of hard work. Mm. He he reminds me of someone that's just he's graft, mm. just graft, graft. Let, and that's what I no like. No matter what team he's in, he's giving you one hundred and ten percent. Yeah, but Messi but, couldn't be bothered this season. Bro. Nah, he didn't. He didn't fit into that. He team. should look. This is seven Ballon doors, Yeah, he shouldn't be on seven. He should be on six, in my opinion. Lewandowski got robbed of his. In my opinion, I don't know who's going to win it this year. What you reckon, Benzema or something? I think Benzema's the only one that really makes sense now. He's... Salah had that half. To me, it's consistency. I think Benzema's yeah. been the only consistent player all year round yeah. with Champions um... League. I don't think trophy. If Real Madrid would have got knocked out in the quarterfinals, I... it wouldn't have bothered me. Mm. He's just been consistent. Obviously, the goals in the Champions League helped. If they would have lost the final, it wouldn't have mattered. I don't think Salah should have won it because they won the final. Like he's been better all year round. Yeah, yeah. No, to me, 100%. the the trophies don't really come into it. The only thing the trophies do means you play more games. Yeah. So you you get a better understanding of how good they've played for longer. Do you mm. know what I mean? It's more consistency. Yeah, and I don't yeah. think Salah after the African Cup of Nations, he kind of just dropped off. So I don't think yeah. he, he hasn't had the consistency all year round. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. Um, but yeah, no. Um, I've obviously, I don't know. I've, I'm, I'm Ronaldo. Just for just like, if if you have to compare them, if you have to compare them, I'm going with Ronaldo because he's just like you said. He, the man works hard, and the Man United team this season has been <laughs> awful. It's been one of some of the, one of the worst sides I've ever seen. Like play football and still finish in the top half, and the man without him. They wouldn't be in the top ten. They yeah. wouldn't have been in the top ten. How? And I know you can't. It's different leagues, different this, different this. Ronaldo's been saving teams in different leagues for ages. Mm -hmm. He changed Ronaldo yeah. when Ronaldo went to Real Madrid. Obviously, Real Madrid, Real Madrid. But when Ronaldo went there, he changed it. He went to Juve, won a few bits. He left and went downhill. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Um, 
he went to, he came to United. Saved him. Saved him. And you know, I think they would have finished you know I mean? like twelfth or something. Yeah, like, like it could have been bad because they had relegation form mm. at one point. Because okay. uh, ever you think about it, Everton were in the relegation zone and Everton took four points off of us. <laughs> four. They beat us and drew against us. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how fucking bad that yeah. is? Horrific. So and like you just like, you just it's just I don't know, he's just that player, like he's a fucking goat. He's just that player. In my, in my, I, don't, I don't know. I just him, look. Don't get me wrong. Messi does incredible <laughs> things. He does. He does some things that you just don't see. That I've, I haven't seen too many times. A man get the ball from the halfway line and just take it around six, seven players. He just and glides, score. didn't he, man? You know, just... you got you got to look at things like that. But you got to look at not only his star power, but the man's like he's just a leader. You know what I mean? The man doesn't. He does not want to lose. You put the captain's armband on him. You know what I mean? That whole United team when he first come in, everyone. Peaked up, everyone was like, bro, it's Ronaldo. Like, it, you know, all these stories started coming out. Uh, we don't do no more fizzy drinks. We don't do this. We all eat this. I mean, moved to Coke, can it? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, we don't, it's just, I don't know. It's just, for me, it's Ronaldo. Just, I don't know. It's just, I don't name any other player that can do what he's done at his age in that league. Yeah, to come back to the Prem and do it in an average Man United yeah. Imagine he did go to City. Yeah, and, and only be beaten by Son and, was it Son? And Salah, I don't know if Kane beat him. For no, that. Kane no. didn't. No. Yeah, do you know what I mean? He done Kane by like four goals. Yeah, I think. yeah, but you, my point. Yeah, you know what I mean? exactly. If people can say penalties, people can say tappings. The numbers are there. They're yeah. not scoring goals. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm... and he didn't even take all the penalties. I That's mean, the Bruno thing. Did, Bruno did. Yeah. Bruno took most. Scored free kick as well. Yeah. Scored some good goals this year. Yeah. But I, I think with him, I think the fact that he went from Man United to Real Madrid, then to Juve, then back to Man United. And he's consistently doing numbers. I feel like that edges him for me. I, I used to be a Messi. I'm a Man United fan as well. But I used to think Messi, just pure fact of how he was at Barcelona. But then him going to PSG and how he's performed this year, I think, has just really dropped him down for me. I it, think. it has actually... I don't it has, think he can do it. Obviously. It's ruined his stock. No. It has yeah. ruined Messi's yeah. stock for that. It, it, I'd say if you put a poll up now, more people would say Ronaldo. Mm. I don't know. Do you not yeah, think? He's, he's got them South Americans on lock. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. but I mean like... But then again, and, 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 I, I and think everyone. if you ask, like, I think I watched the thing on Gary Neville's podcast the other day of... Um, <laughs> like, yo, bro, breathing that way, isn't it? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, did he do that? Hey, this doing, geezer's bro? just a fucking idiot, <laughs> man. I just want to get rid of him. I don't want him on him. <laughs> Put him back on camera. Dude. <laughs> you get, that, get the pillow, man. On. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, of, um, it was on Gary Neville's podcast with Frank Lampard and he was saying that exact same thing. He thought Messi and then Ronaldo's just shocked him this year and he thinks Ronaldo's the best. Yeah. Do you know the argument I do hate though is when people go, yeah, but Messi's talent and Ronaldo's hard work. No, Messi's hard work. He would have. Ne he would never be the player he is now if he wasn't mm. putting extra hours in. He just. He just isn't as flancy and shows it as much. Mm. Like he. He definitely puts in. Un that, that you can't get to that level uh, yeah, of football without talent. putting yeah, in. Yeah. Uh, not no, talent. It's hard work. Without yeah, hard work, like yeah. you can't. It's impossible. Yeah. Balotelli was talent oh. with no hard work. Balotelli was. Do you know what I mean? He's a waste. He was though. Man. Like he was, he was he good. Was, oh, Should have been <laughs> the only Italian player to win a Premier League. Yeah, he is as well. Goat state. Do you remember when he done that little like? Rabona flick thing or whatever we turn around and oh. he was missed the goal completely and yeah. he's a joker though he got taken off he, at he half time for that <laughs> man. maybe yeah. someone chucked a banana at him and he ate it no I think that was, no, that, that, that was Danny Alves, Alves. Danny Alves yeah. yeah yeah them think he didn't give a fuck about them sorts of things man yeah, he he he's. I, he's, I did like. Still playing football now. Yeah, he's in yeah, the yeah, Italian he's in league. Like, yeah, he's actually oh, smashing it. I he got he's... back in the Italy team. Yeah, yeah, I he's think. smashing it in a minute. So... I think like it's. Like, I think a fitting way to end that conversation is at this point we're watching two absolute goats, and instead of comparing them, let's just appreciate it because mm. they're gone in two, three years. It's not like lasting Marvin. much longer, yeah. It's it, coming like, to a slow decline. Yeah, you, yeah. See, you see him picking up injuries, you see, with all due, with due respect to Messi, I just, he just seems to be like, he's, he's on holiday. He, he's he off that juice. Fuck, man, he don't care. He don't, yeah. like, I'm not saying he, he doesn't, but he, he's in a juice. team, he's in a team <laughs> yeah, he's off everyone. The... But then, to play devil's <laughs> advocate with his part, shit. yeah, Ronaldo did move from <laughs> Portugal <laughs> The yeah. fucking sewers over there gave Messi superpowers. <laughs> it stinks sewers. over there, man. <laughs> but yeah, now Ronaldo did move from an early age 
and then moved again at what 24 25 yeah whereas he has been there for what his whole life pretty much so yeah it is a big like imagine you moving he didn't want to leave either did yeah he? he didn't want to leave. yeah a kid but, but then, a kid well. into the pre- and, and and sorry to cut you off but the premier league was the, the, this weren't the premier league this was like oh he does skills let's try break his yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, legs yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> do you know what Exactly. You watch yeah, his highlights, yeah, yeah, and he's doing skills, and they're telling him, "Fucking take him the yeah. fuck out now." Turning people, like, and he's in a turning. team with Roy Keane and stuff like that. Like, yeah. and this is what I was going to say when you said to your point about appreciate him because it's not here for too long. Like, he he is he, <laughs> he is uh, he he's been there when football was actually good. Mm. You know what I mean? That he was there at that period, the two thousand and eight, Robin van Persie, John Terry, Lampard, Gerrard. That to me was football. Football's so dead now. Yeah, it is. I actually and struggle I actually, to watch yeah. it a bit because I'm like, this like is so shit. shit. Yeah, yeah. If we if not <laughs> shit like that, <laughs> if we, man out, it's got if issues. We, man. If we rewind in it like what five, ten, six, ten years ago, like I don't know why. If it was popping or mm. things are more normal, you could yeah. say certain things. You know what I mean? Everything's a little bit. Things, things are different now. Things are different now. We're soft. Oh, hot one. That could be the controversial. We'll, we'll move to that. That could soft, be. That could soft, be that. Man. Yeah, we, some think, people think... say it's conspiracy. I'm saying, open your fucking eyes. <laughs> Vanilla soft scoop. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Conspiracies. What you got for nothing? F- like I'm good for conspiracies. We Linus that, was texting we me saying he wants to get bench, everyone cancelled. He said it to me, and I said I agree. I said, listen, we can't be doing that. I want to hear about that 12 inch. <laughs> no, we're not talking about that, man. Because people actually get got off that. 12 inch cheese. What? You heard of, you heard of Pizza Gate? What? Pizza Gate. Pizza Gate. No. Let's not do it. Oh, I'm not going got, down there. I'll tell you what. Oh, no, 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 I'll tell you, you what to watch it, man. No, no, I'll send man. you the dog. I'll show you off off, off air because yeah. I can't speak because I actually think us saying them sorts of things yeah. and talking about it, they'll shadow ban the video. Yeah. Gated yeah. pizza. Yeah. That don't help. But uh <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Mike, what you got for us? There is a lot to be fair. What about the moon landing, man? Yeah, I was gonna. That was the one of the ones I was gonna bring up. To be fair, let's go. We'll start with that then. Because I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The moon landing some time ago. Yeah, Yeah, the first one in America when they put the flag. Yeah, yeah. one giant leap for man. Because it's like a race, (laughs) isn't it, between Russia and and China and all that. Yeah, yeah. It was a monetary thing, I think. It's like whoever would get there first got the it's, would get or, would just yeah because would be a superpower yeah, the yeah. narrative yeah, yeah of the people what the Kennedy, people would Kennedy believe, yeah. wanted it and then after your boy got got you know what I mean yeah. I don't believe it but then but then Joe Rogan had a few things to say because people were bringing up about you know and they stood on there and they were all like standing and yeah, they were all falling yeah, 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 yeah. and they were like that's not realistic but then Joe Rogan was like but do you know what it could the gravity would realistically feel like up there yeah, like it could yeah, generally yeah. feel all fucked up like that where you can't really walk we don't know but I don't personally believe it because I think now you see what governments do and what they'll do to get people on their side I, you that know, to me looks like a I need to go to space I need to go <laughs> I need to go to the rim yeah of the yeah, sky yeah, yeah. and actually see the darkness for myself yeah, and feel yeah, like yeah. is this real Rain Musk are we in yeah. like um you know, like you watch The Simpsons and they're in that bowl. Yeah. I'll be in a bowl no, and they're just changing you know our nightshade you know and stuff. Like, you know what? I, I was in a car with a friend of a friend. Yeah. So I, me and my boy would, oh, we, I just thought it was my boy going to this, going to this like rave. And he goes, oh, can my boy come? Like, he's cool. He's cool. He's cool. And he was, he was. But we was like, we're sitting in the car and he's like, yeah, chatting away. <laughs> and we're like, yeah, we're like, yeah, yeah, this and that. And I don't even know how they got on the topic. And he was like, ah. Oh, you know, do you believe? He was like, um, oh, you, 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 you Christian or you, 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 would you believe in? I was like, oh, I'm just, look, I believe in, chat shit get banged, innit? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, be nice, innit? Just be cool with it. Like, yeah. If you want, if you want, I want to be treated like, I want you to see me and be like, oh, respect. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to treat you with just the same real. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm not going to, do you know what I mean? So just treat me like that. And he goes, oh, I believe in, like, for murmurment. And I was like, Excuse what the me? fuck is that? And he's like, oh, so basically, like you said, he's like, oh, we're, so we're all in like a dome, innit? And he's like, I believe the earth's flat. I believe this. And I went, yeah? And I went, look, look, look. I was like, I'm an open minded brother, yeah? So I've got questions, but I want you to explain it to me. And, you know, and he's like, oh, what do you, you mean? And I went, okay, so if we're, if the earth's flat, yeah? How do you explain curvature when you're in like a plane and you can see like, you can see the horizon. Yeah, you can see the horizon. See, he yeah. goes, nah, that's just the um, perspective of the glass of the plane. And I went, 
Okay, because I, oh, to be fair, I've never no been. No one's ever going to see yeah, it out yeah. of the glass. I, I've never been. I've never been able to open a window and have a look. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so I, can't, I can't say too much. Okay, cool. Okay, when, <laughs> when, the, um, when the sun rises, yeah, and, you know, rises from there, comes to there. It comes over. Yeah, I don't believe in that. Flash How? Flash. Because if I put, like, a stick in the ground, it can, it can do the, it can tell the time, innit? It can do the whole time dial thing. And it's in that. And I went, How, where does it set to then? Like, where does the sun, where does it set to? How do we spin? Because surely it's going over and we're flat. Is it, how are we spinning? Mm. Like, how are we spinning? And he goes, nah. And he couldn't really explain that to me. And I was like, okay. And then he goes, oh, you see that the, see when stars flicker, yeah? And I went, yeah, go on. And he goes, oh, that's basically like, this is when I jumped off the, this is when I jumped off that, that truck, bro. I was like, nah, nah, I'm out, I'm out. I'm out. I can't listen, I can't yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he goes, oh, see when stars are like flickering, it's basically trap souls, isn't it? <laughs> so it's like, it's trap and souls. It's, it's Bryce and and yeah, he's like, yo, this is trap souls. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, this and that. And, yeah, and I'm like, yo, like, that's just like, gases, brother. Yes. You know, and he goes, yeah, and while you're seeing it flicker, yeah, it's because we're in the dome, we're like underwater, innit? Oh, no. And I'm like, this I'm guy's like, gone, oh, bro, man. Where are we? Yeah, like, not, not, bottom, you, bro. How did you, 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 know you How did you um, even have them questions on standby? Though? No, because they are good no, questions, no, no, though. Like, they're in depthy no, no, questions no, 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 to ask someone. It was an in depth. That's what I mean. It got in depth. You can't answer them sorts of questions unless you've got knowledge, and they must have been like stunted. like 100%. So I was like, look, Look, I was like, look, gee, I'm not saying, I don't believe you. I'm not saying you're bullshit. I'm not saying this. I'm just saying, Explain. if you believe in that and you understand it, you should be able to make me understand it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I can explain to you the offside rule because I understand it. And you, I'll make you understand it in seconds, yeah, right? But, and then- if you're going to explain something, you need to- uh, Yeah, so I when I, like, I'm going to have questions. If you tell me we're in a dome underwater, okay, where's- Where's the sun in relation to where we are then? Mm. If the Earth's flat, okay, how can X, Y, Z be Excuse like you'd this? have to argue someone, because Logan Paul won't actually believe like the Earth's flat. No, they don't. He went to a rally. Oh, he don't. He just went to a rally. Oh, I thought you, have to, you have to say you believe it to get into the rally, otherwise they won't let you in. And then they let him in and he made a whole dog <laughs> and he don't believe in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, I just, I don't know. It was like, look, I was like, it's interesting. I'm not, look, I'm not calling it bullshit. I think, I believe in what I believe. I I don't think we need to. He sounded like he didn't know what he believed. Do you know what I'm saying? And then yeah. when he said to me, he goes, "Oh, you know, do." Then he goes, "Ah, oh. I went, yeah." So like, obviously, I got some questions. I got this, and okay, what about stars? What about different planets? What about this universe? What about this? What about that? What about this? What about? And I asked him a lot of questions, and he was like, "Ah, oh, you see what it is, yeah. If you do the research, if you go do the research, <laughs> yeah." You you... And I went, "Hang on, hang on. Oh, you've done the research. It made me understand it, innit? Yeah. And it, don't it, you it, think it's mad, like?" This, you heard the Sumerians yeah. they're like the old yeah. one of the oldest civ civilizations but like they had pictures of the universes mm. it's like yeah how, but like, I, these drawings like I think they were how? more tech like I know we're gonna get onto pyramids and stuff like that as well but I they were more technically advanced than we were yeah and I think something's happened maybe like a meteor and reset I think the world just resets just resets naturally. I think there's a natural yeah, advance in the world in like resets. a different way. And I think they were in advancing it. Because if, if the world reset and a thing hit and we all reset and it, like mankind kind of started again, started again yeah. it, you, it would go in a different direction than it went this time. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It would always go in a different direction. So I I believe that they were actually more advanced. Like, how the fuck do you build a pyramid? Well, how, some a, of these things are in a PC are, game and they just are, wiped are massive mm. and they didn't have the te <laughs> technology we have now. How, how? It's not explainable. But we wouldn't even be able to do it now. That's what I'm saying. Mm. So they the only ex explanation is they were more advanced than us in a different way. Even like, like the court stones, like you, in Afghanistan, they used to have these uh, like these angels and it was like carved out of court stone, but even like our 3D lasers and that, it, it, it would take a fucking week. It can't yeah. do it. It can't, it can't do, do it. it. Yeah. Like, and they, they're perfectly moulded. Yeah, perfectly I, d I don't know, man. I don't understand. I don't. It's It's mad. It is mad, yeah. And we'll never understand it. That that is one thing I wish if I, if you could go back in time, I, wanna I would want to see like see what was what was going on. But then who's that guy? Uh, is it is it Tesla? He Look had the Tesla. He had the um. He was onto something. He, was he, it free 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 or something yeah, like that? Yeah. And he would only go into rooms with free free free. Yeah, something yeah, to do yeah. with the numbers free 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 because it was something to do with the pyramids and electricity and stuff like this. And he thought, I think he thought you, you'd have to fact check me, but I'm sure it was something to do with 
uh, the the every pyramid where it's lined up in the world produces electricity, it some does, sort of yeah. electricity. Well, yeah. with, with them as well, I learned about it last week. Is they are not how they used to be. They used to be covered in gold from top to bottom, like glistening gold. And water would be running. Through. Yeah, and what this guy was saying, he is basically saying it was a, a power source for the whole entire world. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. I don't know what sort of power it was, like where it was coming from. If it was coming from the sun, if it was like solar energy, because they were linked yeah, up but... perfectly in every different part mm. of the country, so that so they would have to be working together in some sort of people way. People need to remember that like, that would have been all green, yeah, greenery, ocean. Yeah, remember, was, like, yeah, desert, they, they fished desert, by yeah. there and everything. Like everything was running. Like people just think it was a desert from no, like, it was, yeah, no, it was, no, it like, so, but that's but that's when you go you go on to the. Uh, like I ain't, I ain't calling it bullshit or anything like that, but with the what's it called, man? That that shit that's going on. Come on, someone. Let's what? Explain what you you're not what? really explaining what, what? <laughs> you know what you're talking about, about, man. With the with the with the sky and the trap gas and. Global warming. Oh, global warming. Global warming. Yeah, global warming. That's like, like conspiracy. Uh, well. Like now it's because because it generates so much money, and how are they having a G seven meeting with global warming? But using the, every single leader goes on a private jet, which huh. gives off so much gas and is so bad for the world. But they all go there on a private jet, so it's like with the global warming. I'm a bit like, is it? Is this? I know it's not. I know we're probably making it worse. Car batteries what? actually is more worse than fossil fuels. Yeah, I, I see something create, like that as well. The car batteries worse than fossil fuels. Mm. But then an the argument could be made like, how long is the car battery going to last for? So it's like, but it's. They don't last that long. Swings around a lot. Yeah. Because I, I just think, is it just a natural part of evolution that the sun just gets hotter? Do you know what I mean? Nah, and, it, but, and it burns the, sun, the, the sun gives or... off gases anyway. Like So it's like, oh. what is it? Mm. Carbon. We're just interrupting this podcast for a quick sponsorship break. This sponsor is a sponsor we use ourselves. You don't get the best logos or thumbnails unless you head over to our brother at Ollie D Graphics on Instagram. He does everything, ranging from logo designs, illustrations, animations, and much, much more. Head over to his Instagram, shoot him a little DM, say the Fijian sent you or the Ginge. He might even chuck in a little extra. With excellent customer service, brilliant pricing, it really, really is a no-brainer. All his links are in the description whether you're watching this on YouTube or listening to us on Spotify. And now we get back with the pod. Thank you. I think it's just, you know, it's, it's just human beings, man. We're just, we're, we are the worst breed, man. We're the worst breed. What? We're the worst on this planet. Yeah, oh yeah. Like, the only thing like, I've always said, like, human beings have done you know, advancements in medicine and this and this and that. But the only one thing that we've got really, really good at is killing each other. Oh, yeah, great. That's the only Manipulating thing. Manipulating like, each other, just yeah. being dirty. Just... And like, I mean, you can tell, like, like, you see places like, I want to say, is it North Korea or South Korea? Whichever one. Is it North, North Korea? South yeah, where they've got, like, the censorship, where you can't yeah. even... Like, people don't even know what's going on outside. He controls everything, doesn't he? You know TV, what I'm saying? everything. Like, you know, in the North Korea, there was a girl that was on Joe Rogan. She escaped and this... You you can't you don't get fed. You're not allowed to eat. Yeah, they're they living go, on they're living on rations. They have to go there. and you don't like earn money. Like you have to go and get bugs. You can't do something with cattle. You can't own cattle. So they they she said you're so hazy twenty four seven because you're just thinking about food. So yeah. No one goes against the government because they're like they they're can't the go against you. the government. Yeah, they're the they're like they're like they've got no energy to go against the government. They're just thinking. That apparently locusts are the most eaten thing in Korea because that's the only thing they can find and it's the biggest source of protein. Yeah. Like she and and Joe Rogan was saying she was tiny, mm. tiny because because of just they're naturally so small because they generally don't eat yeah. apparently because he makes the whole country believe like they won hundreds of gold medals they've won the world cup yeah, yeah everything. Like, he, they don't mad. know anything else apart from what he tells them yeah, it's mad how like people can just manipulate a whole population yeah like even with the news and their agendas and it's that, easily like, it's done so, though you like people see. just like need to wake you up you can see man. it for over the last couple of years from from uh corona to the petrol prop fuel to this to that like literally over the last two years you've seen it so much it's why so now you've seen it happen with stupid things so now would you not go back and think oh no they probably did there still this, be people there and say no the government are right like they they're always for us they're like it's like no one's there for you mate mm, you know what i mean me. 
Drive sometimes your family ain't even there for you. Yeah. Fuck, why do you think they're going to be there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, it's true. Yeah, right. about yeah, one for bit about no, them. man. Yeah, like, it's me. all agendas. They're all about themselves. We laugh at COVID though. Watch, th- in another think, 10 years, we'll look back and yeah, we'll be like... Yeah, but I think people want simple simplicity. And I think the thought of people trying to help them or people that's there for them gives them comfort. People just want to be told what to do. Yeah. yeah. People want to be told no, what to is. believe. They want to be told what to do. It's as simple as that. That's like luring like, people in though, isn't it? When, like, like, when, I've got sweets. Like, come, yeah. in, come to me. From, from, when, you, from when you're saying... <laughs> Mark Eddie shit, man. So, uh, from when you're saying, yeah. From when you're saying, oh yeah, you know... Um, the people aren't delivering the fuel, so we need we're, we're short on staff for fuel, and all of a sudden everyone. Goes you remember and, that bullshit? Yeah, the drivers oh, yeah, from France. We're, we're short. Yeah. We're short on drivers. We're not short on fuel. Yeah, people. Why, and, why and, people? and then they just put the narrative in the media, yeah, and everyone and just, just lost it. Narrative. Yeah. And, 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 like and I remember when fuel was cheap. Yeah, and it was like as soon as that got announced, yeah, below doubled. Yeah. Straight, everything just went up, and I was just like. <laughs> I was like, how's you know, it? You know, it's, you know, it's how's never going back down to like 120, 130. No, well, I'm, never, I'm never seeing that again. It's never going down to that again because it might, it might not, it won't be at 190s, but when it goes back down, it might be at like, the new starting price will probably be at like 160. When it went up yeah, to, when yeah. when they done all that yeah, bullshit. 160. 160. Yeah. And that's wishful thinking. I think. Yeah, it could be high. It could be 170. Yeah, 180. Yeah. 180 is the starting price now. So, but, but what don't go up? What don't go up are wages. Don't go up. Yeah, yeah, so no. food goes up. Everything goes Everything up. Cost goes of living up, goes up. But the wages don't go up. But the MPs wages go up. But they're still not fucking us. Because they keep playing around fucking interest rates and as well. Because you know what? 2008 crashed. That was we were in a deflationary state. So that's when we were putting interest rates, if I'm correct, low. Because you're trying to get rid of money. Because we're in an inflationary state. But our our say the inflation's like i don't know they're saying like say ours is like 9.8 percent we actually need to raise ours lower but we can't raise the low because we need to match the inflation to get rid of the inflation but every time we, we probably we'll probably match it i'm gonna butcher it and at some point explain it <laughs> <laughs> you went too far <laughs> to, yeah. to, to not, to not quit, man. you I'm lost like, all yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. i'm gonna butcher it yeah yeah but yeah we're fucked we are fucked. We're not, though. yeah, we're, f- nah, we're fucked. No, we're we are fucked. fucked. We are. We're I'm fucked. trying to keep it for people to... to... Yeah, but it's like a guy was saying today, like, I need to be serious with people, like, you're fucked. We're fucked. We're not fucked. There's going to be opportunity if you if you can spot the opportunity, if you're willing to get better, but it might be one of them ones where you you might not be able to do the things you can do. You might not be able to buy that Hagen dazs ice cream or that pizza or something. Some like, bitch. You've got, you've got <laughs> to live. A, you've got to live bitch. Did, did, you, did you see this? Yeah. What is she talking about? She was saying um, she hasn't got enough money to live on or whatever, but in her fridge or freezer was Hagen Dazs ice cream. Who the fuck's <laughs> buying Hagen Dazs? That is that is like a luxury. Creme, yeah. I don't think I've ever had Hagen Dazs. You have had Hagen Dazs. You ate you ate you have had Hagen Dazs. I have. Yeah, Hagen Dazs is banging. It's, it's like a Ben and Jerry's. Packet, yeah. They're like four pound yeah. per tub. Yeah. And I was only get I only get them now when they're on half price. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Do you know what I mean? I'm moving like that. I just don't feel like oh. Our condom, like, well, England, like, everyone's bougie, or we live up to, we live beyond our means too much. Trust we're not, me. we're not ready for something to come slap us in the face. Like, you might have to huddle up, you might I, have to downsize, you might have to go have to share a bedroom with someone. It's TV like, and social media. That's like, how this you is. Got, this, you, got, you got to look like but, you got the drip. But then, do you not? Yeah, think you ain't got to have it. You got to look is, like. This you got is when drip. you go on to like the mental health thing, and obviously everyone's mental health is different. I'm not commenting. People might be going for hard times, whatever. Yeah, but I feel like people bring it upon themselves. Because yeah. they try to do the things that they want to do, but they don't have the money that they think they have, and then they put themselves in these situations. Told you, bro. you like ultimately, you ultimately, you ultimately Wait. kind of put yourself in people, that situation. I hate like yeah, but, not to everyone, not to everyone, uh, but to some people. Fuck the people. Fuck the people. The people are for us, man. Fuck Manscaped, twenty percent off. Bro, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Get in a recession. <laughs> you got twenty percent. Hey, twenty percent off in the recession. <laughs> Code Fijian. Hey, they're yeah, looking we, after Everyone you. is blagging that mental illness at the minute, man. No offence. Like, some people are generally mentally ill. But I hate how this term's just getting... It is getting thrown about. around for Oh, everything. no, look. Like, no. uh, I'm not even going And you know, you know what? You know what? Yeah, and no, I touched on it a little bit. There's some people... Look, with, without, without being insensitive to certain to I think because I've actually are. had mental illness in my life. Me, not me, me personally, me, but me, I've yeah. had family members with yeah. it. Like, I understand it. Like... And now you just got people like 
wiling out or they've seshed too much or they a little something a little hardships come into their life oh no i'm mentally ill and then they start mm. playing that card i'm like yeah nah, I, I think, nah. I think, you yeah, you just I, had a little hard time look, i think there's a few things that do do you know what i mean i think i think everyone like you said everyone's different everyone goes through certain things differently the word i think is being used too much because it's the in thing now it's the in it's thing man, you know yeah. it's yeah. it's to support it is the in thing you know what i mean it's just you know all of that I think where I what I don't like is a lot of people say they support it but they don't give a fuck no. they don't give a fuck about people that are mentally ill they don't really give a shit about it they don't you know I mean some of them cause it some of them you know what I mean you know, like people like I won't I won't get into it too deep because I don't want to divide I don't, not the room I don't want to divide that room um, but it, like nah, some fuck people, the people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. But some people that don't, some people don't like, care about mental health. They, yeah. I, I don't feel like I, you know. It's, it's it's probably yeah. It's how, like you said, how you like how I come across it because I've dealt with people with it. People obviously, if you've not dealt with people who've actually mm. had it, like real mental illness, schizophrenia, that, you're not mm. gonna understand what I'm saying, mm. and you're gonna be like, oh, well, you're just insensitive. No, yeah. I'm not. I've dealt with it mm. properly. You know what I mean? I've like first hand. Uh, yeah, I've seen, I've seen it first hand. You know so you I mean? can't tell me like mm. it's it's hard. Like nowadays, we just we're just playing the victim, man. Mm. Yeah. A little bit it's, hard. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy, it's it's easy, it's easy, easy to way milk out. everything to, to, now. Yeah, man. to an extent, you know what I mean. Like again, respectfully, it's easy to say, oh, you know, mental ill instead of something else you know, instead of doing this instead of doing this is like like you said I've, I've been around people with PTSD I've been around schizophrenia I've been around flipping you know, uh, what's man. the word I've been around people with bloody depression I've been around I've been around I've been a lot of people I've had my own things that I am actually thankful that I don't think mine were that bad they were hard but I would have never have gone you know oh my god you know I was in this way or do you know what I mean? Just using it to some people using are using it, as, excuse, it yeah. as you know for a bit of clout, or it's just it's just it's just what you do. It's it's I don't know. It's too big a topic. It's too it's it's a it's massive too topic. many levels. It's, yeah, it's too many, too many layers. Many to levels, so many man. levels. There's so many layers to it. No, I was just gonna basically say like your point. I think people over exaggerate it. Not everyone, but some people do. Like I've been in the workplace and I've seen people. Well, I don't know exactly what they're going through, but. I know they're blagging the mental health card to get like two, three weeks off work. I know people, we know pe yeah, people personally <laughs> yeah. who have blagged it. Uh, to yeah. get a month <laughs> no, 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 no one, no, but I'm not going to name names or anything because each to their own, do what you want. Like, but, but you know, but people do do that and it does ruin it for the rest of the people who actually have problems. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because people will sit at home and take advantage of all the tools that the government just chuck out to you. And, mm. and it's not like a thing where it's like, you can't undeniably say someone hasn't got it. If yeah, 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 yeah. It. You can't. You know I mean, yeah, like, so you can like sit with your shot. doctor. Yeah, you, can't you can't prove, prove it. Yeah, you can't prove because because in a way you could basically sit there and a lot of people know how people act when they do have them mental health issues. You could. It's easy to act. And do you know what mm. tops the bill? It was easy to get signed off work from a doctor's. Yeah. And now your physios and stuff like that can sign you off of work. Can they actually? Yeah, yeah I heard it on Newsbeat today. I'm sure your physios and stuff, they've made it easier because they don't want people having uh, pointless doctor's appointments. Mm. Your physios. I could just ring the physio up and say, brother, do me a solid. Mm. Your boy ain't trying to go in. Exactly, yeah. mm. And they can just sign you off. Mm. So it's it's like, I don't know. Like it's, said, it's, it's hard. It's a kick in the teeth for it's a people in, that actually, actually yeah, have it. For people that are actually going through people. stuff, it, 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 it's so damaging for them because... What some person, what someone's actually going through, gets so played down now because of how many people. Yeah, and like you said, you, you guys, me as well, have seen it all firsthand as well. Like mental health issues, it is. It's not nice to see people that, that maybe not suffering with it, saying they are. You yeah, know no, I mean? you know, it's like he said earlier though. Like people cause it on themselves. Like no one views their life or what they're doing or what hobbies they're doing or people they're messing around or they're going out every weekend or they're sleep deprived they're doing this this drug that drug Bunk like said it when when he said he had chemical uh, imbalance he said he had the uh when he froze up and that in college yeah 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 that's laughing at him that's anxiety hey, we've had we had some deep conversations yeah no nah. we laughed about but, stuff but, but um, we're, 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 funny enough we were talking about like and again, I'm not even going to say this is a struggle on mental illness. No, it's just not. Uh, we've like talked about like certain demons that show. We're, we're we're fighters. Yeah, yeah. So there's a there's a there's a 50, there's a chance that I could be separated from my senses at any minute. 
there's a chance he could, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh, you know when you're like fighting, do you ever get like this fucking little demon that just shows up in your head and it kind of says some bullshit? Like, I, I was fighting Bentley, like, and I was just like, yeah, just moving around and I'm thinking in my head, like, do you imagine if he like fucking jelly legs you? And I'm like, I'm, I'm laughing though. I'm like, what the fuck are you thinking? It's so mad. Yeah. You're going what through you all these emotions and while and you're fighting. Yeah, and I'm moving around time. and I'm like, oh, could, could you be like, <laughs> and it only caught me in the eighth round. And I'm like, moving around, I'm slipping, slipping, slipping. And I'm thinking to myself, could you imagine if he like chinned you like Groves got chinned like? <laughs> could, you, could you imagine? But, but I'm like, I'm there like, what the fuck? Like, yo, bruv, like, and I'm walking back to my corner and I'm like, nah, listen, you're Linus, bruv. Get back into the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. What's, what, what's, and I asked him like, they do creep get, in. Do you ever get like little demons like creeping like that? And he they goes, do. nah, not really. <laughs> he not said really. that down. Yeah, that Shut was that like, down not really, bruv. I was like, look, I've seen you wig. I've, I've seen you holding the rest of legs, bruv. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, um, but it was like today I finished the session on the assault bike and I'm like, um, I'm gonna I wanna do hundred I'm gonna do hundred calories on the assault bike. I'm I'm doing hundred calories on the you're assault bike. Demons. And I'm doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, and, 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 I'm I'm and Nate Nell said to me the other week when I was when I was doing the uh, 80, 40, uh, 20, you know that going down that, and he was like, keep it at 60 RPMs. Make sure you keep it at 60 RPMs. And I'm like brother man 60 rpms i'm like i'm giving it some and then you start going down now nah, but 55 is all right but but it's but but maybe 50 as long as i get it done <laughs> you start going through these little things and you and you do, i don't know about yourself but like you do and then you're like nah bring it back like i need to stay at 60 let's get to 60 but today i'm doing it and my shoulders hurting that's why i love gym my you shoulders battle, hurting you literally have these combos yeah. with yourself you're like or if you're feeling tired, now you're like, oh no, I can't really do it. You know, like, now you need to fucking show up. And and, and, the, and the shoulders hurting, and I'm doing the assault bike, and I'm like, my shoulders fucking aching, like it's it's, it's hurting. I'm like, who gives a fuck? Mm. Compensate with the legs. Put more into the legs. Less. You you're getting these 100 calories done. Mm. You're not leaving. If that means you got to push it over the line, you're not leaving. That's why don't, I love don't going break to fit yourself, base. though. Isn't it? No, don't no, no, fuck it. Break no. yourself. No, no, no. But I think I think there's, you there's, have there's to a certain... break yourself in, in a way. Nah, you but do. I mean like with an injury. See, with no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Tweaks for me. Yeah, tweak. I'm like, I'm going you know, home. though. Of course, of course. I'm going you, home. Yeah, but yeah, but you, you know that. You know the difference between tweak and being fatigued. Yeah, you know lactic acid in a pool, isn't it? Yeah, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Look, look, like being an athlete in just. I've, ever since I was like four, I've always just competed for something. Whether it was hurdles, football, whatever. I've always Women. competed. I've always been competitive. I've always competed. And maybe I might be different. I might be different to certain people. But in my in my head, 100%. Like sometimes I'm hitting a bag, I'm fucked. Or I'm on the air bike and I've got to do this, I've got to do this. And I'm fucked. And I, yeah, you think to yourself, Psh, yeah, I could just coast this one. But... That ain't gonna help me, is it? No. Nah. You won't feel satisfied after your what session. What am I doing bro? it for? It ain't gonna help me, is it? Like, it's my. Like, what am I doing and it I, for? And like, I think like you, you put a limitation on yourself and yeah. say I can't do that. And once you do it, it's like, like you said, you've unlocked a new level. Mm. Oh, well, I can do that. So the next time is much like when we paint the house, for instance. You paint the house, and the first time you paint it, it's a bit slower, and you're like. Oh, I didn't think we could do it that quick. Mm. The next time you do it, quicker, mm. quicker, quicker. It's like you unlock yeah, levels and you need to push yourself to get to that next level. Otherwise, you won't. Mm. You won't ever get but to the next level. I feel like that's level. when you thrive in life. Yeah. Them little little goals or little this. Or that's why more people need to do exercise or get out or set little mm. targets, man. Because I don't know why. It's like the human body like thrives off that shit. And, and I'll put my hands up like probably... I'd say my mindset's changed maybe over the last year with training specifically. But 100%, 100%. I used to... No, no, no. Yeah, with training specifically. Yeah, I'm not even yeah. talking about like being negative and stuff like that. But just with training. D. Yeah, negative D. They used to, the boys used to call me like, negative He used to be D. so negative. So negative, man. I would have banged you out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I would have said, I would have said, I would have given, work, given the boy some, but I probably just, wouldn't have given the boy none. It's draining sometimes, though, isn't it? It, is, it brings you down. You know what it is? You know what it is? Without cutting you off. Sorry. I'm an in well, I, well, actually, I'm... you cut him off, but he cut me off. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So we go back in some roundabouts. Ultimately, I got cut off, but I'll give you that one. <laughs> right. Shut your mouth. <laughs> um, so imagine I'm in an environment, yeah, where everyone's everyone's a professional athlete. Where, where I'm at, every everyone's a professional boxer. Everyone's everyone's in the game. Everyone's grafting. Everyone's grinding. Like everyone, and it's in. The, we're all in a team, but it's individual. Like everyone's already self motivated. And you don't, you don't get to, you, there is, there is no, like, you don't get to take a, take a, 
like a shortcut. You don't get to. You know, you don't. You don't. You don't get to. When I played football, you couldn't really hide. Like I've never. I've never been the one to hide. Anyway, I've always given it until I feel 100%. like. Yo, I'm gonna, yeah. Yo, Unless you I'm tweak. Done. Yeah. yeah. Like and even even in the gym now, I'll be giving it, giving it, and every time, any time that even looks like I've dropped off, someone's on my ass. Every time it looks like someone else's job, someone's on their ass. So it's just, that's the competitive environment we're you in. And there is, keep, there is, there's no such thing no. as quitting. There's no such thing as a shortcut. There's no such thing as a handicap. There's no such thing as taking uh, the easier route. Do you know what I mean? There's no such thing with, with well, the swear, environment I'm in. And the it's hardest just, route. You, you graft. You, it's the hardest route. Yeah. Take the hardest route. No, 100%. You, I, I, that, the, the, the easy route is misleading. Mm. It's always going to be misleading. Everyone always thinks, oh, no, easy life. Like, did it? No man, go yeah. for the hardest shit because yeah. that hard shit will get easy. Do, do you know what I said? I said this when we do track. It's like this is probably the biggest leveler. So, with in the in boxing, when you're doing the bag, when you're doing pads, you can or sparring, you can take little breaks. Like let's say, like I'm sparring someone and it's hard. I I, I think I'm good enough and smart enough to kind of take a few seconds off here, do a little bit. Look like I'm doing a bit. Take a few seconds. It's easy to mm. do that. You do that in the bags as well. You can do that. You can be clever. But when you're on a track, when you're running down that track and you've got a time to beat, you've oh, got your man. PB to beat, hard. you can't hide. And like you said, do, hard. do 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 hard. Do the hardest first. Yeah, like do the hardest first. Like I remember before my last fight, I was doing like 12, 800s with a minute rest in between. And I had to- 12, like, 800 meters. 12, 800 meters. And I had to hit the same time every single time because it just, like you said- Hit a good, a good pace. Yeah, sweet. We're in. We're in time. A little bit better this time. Okay, we're same time again. A little bit slow. You got to just. You, I don't know. You, there is no. I don't see an easier route. I don't. Like, no, nah, it's demon, hard. Demons That's... come in. Yeah, I. We get some people that are with us, and they go, "Oh, I've never really been a track." Look, I've done track. This isn't what I do. I'm doing this to supplement my boxing. It's not what I do. Don't. I can never look and go, "Oh, I'm no, I'm not a track person." That's why my time is here. Shut the fuck up. Just get to work. Beat your times, man. No, like I'm not. We're not here. I don't know. I feel like if you're gonna shoot, certain people are different. Yeah, if you're gonna do, yeah, but I feel like your people just built different in it. Like I hate, I hate excuses. If I'm going to train, like I'm not here for it. Well, I'm I'm an addict to training, so it's a bit different in it. But for Mm. me, it's like it's all or nothing. Mm. I'm gonna keep going at it. I'm addicted to it, so it's like I'm gonna get better. Mm. I'm gonna get better. First half marathon I've done. Okay, I've done it at 140. Now I'm going to get mm. better. 135. Yeah. Yeah, this time I'm going to go for a half, a, a full marathon. Mm. So I'm like, fuck it, I can get better. Like, you can get better, man. Just keep mm. driving. It's what I don't, I don't get like excuses for me. Like, they make, oh, they piss me off. I, I haven't made an excuse for myself in a long time. I haven't, I, I don't I can't remember the last time I made an excuse. I can't, oh yeah. The, the only thing I've ever said was, you know what? A guy was better than me. When I played football and some guy just had me in his pocket. It's better than me. I've got to go back and whatever he did to me, get it out. Whatever he did, what, however he kept me there, I've got to, I've got to change <clears> things <throat> up. I've got to yeah. change things up. My last fight, look, I, no matter how I feel about it, no matter how I look at it, no matter how, it was better than me that night. I've got to go back, change some things up, come back and do better. Like there is no excuses. There's no, oh, uh, you know, uh, the commentators, were, the, the crowd was a bit louder. The, 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 his corner was, I don't know. It, it, I, I'm not, I'm not here for excuses. I don't, I don't give a fuck about it. And it, pisses me off when I hear or have people anywhere near me that give certain excuses for certain things and I'm just like soft it's not good yeah it's it's soft it's not good enough it's just like you you want to be giving excuses that's what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life told you man buttercup Navy. that's why it's so good training because training will teach you life mm. or doing something doing something competitive or doing a sport or something like sports resembles life so much man like mm. It get but, you out of the heart. Like he said, I think, I think it is better for for stuff like that. I think it is better to do an in, individual thing. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. hide behind your team, yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. I, I don't like team stuff. I don't like that one. But then some yeah. individual. Say it, but say if you did like an individual swap and team stuff, it's also good because it, it could put you in that competitive no, environment no, where, like, no. Say for example, like CrossFit, like. Say if you were doing it with like a team of people, mm. you're still doing it as an individual, mm. but 
you're trying to cap someone else's time. Mm. You see what I'm saying? It's like when you go to a thing. No, no, no. I'm not saying don't, don't do time. team sports. I'm just saying I think I think for pushing yourself, you should do individual yeah. stuff as well. It's because to be I think, fair, like, I think you can get deep. You could take a you get deep in your own head. Like I can, I can not ask for the ball for ten minutes. Yeah. If, if oh, I'm 100%. playing on the wing, I can say yeah, yeah, I can okay. watch the ball go over the other side and say yeah, I'm going to take twenty minutes. Say a word. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. And I've done it. Yeah, and I've like, done it and I'm not even yeah, going to lie think, about I think it everyone's done it on a pitch but going back to like the individual sports you can only really look at yourself when you've made a mistake you can't go oh, it's this person it's that well, person where, where it's the yourself excuses? Yeah. there's no excuses so that's there's where no you, I think you learn more from yourself in individual mm. sports than you do in team sports because mm. it's easy to to blame another person on a football pitch or a rugby pitch if they've done something wrong and it's conceded mm. a goal mm. Like nobody thinks, oh, I could have done five plays before that yeah. Yeah. and stopped you, that pass sort you, you of know, thing. Whereas you know, as an individual, mm. you genuinely have to look at your own game and think, how can I... It's only you in there. Yeah. 100%. You can look at... You, we've all played football. You can, you know when a goal goes in, everybody looks at everyone. Mm. Everyone's like... They just look, the first person they see, they're like... Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Everyone just starts looking at everyone. <laughs> Who the fuck and, was that? Like, you know what I mean? Someone looks at me and I'm like, he was your man. Yeah, like, yeah. Look at me. Yeah, but then again, why did the cross come in? Then yeah. again, why is anyone losing the ball in the middle? For the, do you know what I mean? You can't, it goes uh, down the... like. That's why to be actually a good team, everyone's got to really but, yeah, understand. But it's, you've got to do your job. Yeah, but it's yeah. hard. It's hard to get eleven yeah. people on that, the same that wavelength. That graft, Doesn't that happen, graft, of course, because yeah. you can't so all be on the same. Way. It's too many people. Good teams or good teams, like mm. there's, you got to respect that man because yeah. it's hard. That, that's why also with team sports, like myself, I always want somebody to put 110% effort in. If they put 110% effort in as a person, you can't knock them if they make a mistake. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas if, if, if you're the one like working your bollocks off on a football pitch for 90 minutes, you're put in, trying to get to every tackle and you've got somebody to the left of you who's just strolling around and you're like, what are you doing? Yeah. It's... Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. it's annoying. Yeah, it's you annoying. Go yeah. over there and bang him in his face. And, and, and like, that's what doing. I think it goes back to your point with that. Like, you don't want to put your faith into someone else's hands. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, that's one of the reasons I left and just went to went full on boxing because team games. There's too many variables. There's too many. You could have done. I I remember we'll see it like a cup final. Before that, I was grafting. I remember I had this thing. I used to fucking burn my glutes off doing this so I'll be in an Astro and they'll have this like um, the corner of the Astro yeah. and I'll be working on my first touch on passing for hours hours just kicking against it touch turn kick against it touch turn for hours burning my glutes off grafting doing oh, things I didn't need to do but I just wanted it in the locker and I knew people weren't doing it I knew certain people aren't they just come to the training sessions go home you know what I mean I'll be doing some stuff outside of stuff go into this game and I'm thinking we, we're not walking off this pitch unless we win and we lost because certain people didn't track back. Things didn't happen. And I just kind of thought to myself, I grafted for so long for someone else to lose that. Mm-hmm. For someone else to fuck it up. I'm, I'm not built for this. I'm not built to, to, to graft this much for people that ain't grafting, giving it back. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I'm just, I'm not, I'd rather go do something where you're it's just above me. the rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you literally yeah. have to play yeah. with like, you're in much that better yeah. level. Yeah. Your I, mindset's in that element them, of yeah. the... The fucking well, know, better better people, yeah. yeah like, if, if someone's not, if someone's not picking up like they're like coming with you, like. It's, mm. it's but then having that mind, that's why you're doing so well mm. in what you're doing yeah. because there's even boxers that can't get to your level mm. because they haven't got that mindset. Yeah, Do you know just, what I mean. You know what I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it just killed me. It just killed. Like I remember, like when I went to, I started boxing, and I remember I was like, you know, doing whatever, and I like, I, I wasn't. I was probably one of the people when I joined my amateur boxing club I was one of the people that was the least that was there the least like not not <clears> the <throat> longest amount of time do you know what I mean like I was only there for like three years and then turned pro but in that time I'd come in and I was like yeah like did some things I was training got my nose broken in like the first sparring mm-hmm. session and I was like okay well how do we let that not happen learned some things did some more things used to get stitched all the time and I was like I thought I was fit but it's a different kind of fitness and I was like, how do we how do we not let it happen it's you know, you've got to work on your conditioning, you've got to work on your road work, do all these little things, did all those little things outside, always hitting PBs, always doing loads of 5Ks and just progressed all the time and just studied the game. I just put a lot in. And in that time, I remember there was people in there that had been boxing like eight years, only had 20 fights. I had 33, or up to 40 fights in the space of three years. Just mm-hmm. smashed it all out, won championships, represented England in Tri-Nations, smashed all this and just went, 
Because I was just like, look, I don't, now that I've got a sport where it's just, it depends on me. Me winning a fight depends on what I, what I do in the back. So I'm not going to leave anything. I'm not going to leave it. I'm not going to come in and go, oh, did do all the running, but I hope it's not a hard fight. So I don't need my car. You know what I mean? It, it, I, it, I can, it can never be me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. now, or even now, like I don't, and the way I train and my, my coach and everything, the environment's right. And when I say that, I mean like, let's say I'm grafting, I do something wrong with my coach. He's like, listen, now you got to do it like this. And then we'll just graft it, figure it out, do it like this. As soon as it's right, we'll move on. Keep, you know what I mean? It's just so, it just, I don't know. It's for what I do now, the mindset just complements it. Do you, like for people watching who might not have this mindset or might still be stuck in a mindset of, oh, it's tough, or da, mm. da, da, can, do you have to be born with it or can you can you train it into yourself? I but, think, I think you agree with me. You, I think some people are just built different. Some people are from a young age. I feel like I was competing from a very young age. So compared to someone that wasn't, see, I, I might have that. That's where yeah, for I, me, I might have that resilience earlier. But certain people just think differently. Certain certain things just click with certain people. I the only thing I'd say is, it's not about getting motivated. It's just learn to love it. Yeah, man. it's not not even that. But it's I said to what's it an old client? I was training him, and he's like, I didn't want to come in today. And I go, yeah, but these are the days that Best matter days. the most. You need to you need to pull it out your ass today. I don't care if you're motivated or not. You need to still work. Like today, you think, I was like, mate, I'm, I'm, I get, this. all I do is I'm a professional boxer. This is what I get paid for. This is what I do. I wake up sometimes not motivated. I wake up sometimes and I go, oh, I can't be fucking ass, bro. I can't be asked to jump on the M25, get to the gym, get ready and do my fucking stretch routine. I can't, I can't be asked sometimes. But I get up and I go, look, bro, it's got to be done, like, Go in and put like you go have the best session. Today is gonna be gonna have to be your best session now. You're gonna have to go in and hit your PBs. You're gonna have to go in and show up today. You're gonna have to actually get more extra for because you I know you're not feeling it now. I know you're you get you got up today and you're not really feeling it, but today needs to be your best. You need to go in and put the numbers in. Do you then think as well it depends about who you surround yourself with at the same time? To push, to push, like no one's they, gonna yes be there. No. For you. No, 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 yeah. no, yes no, 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 yes not in that no. sense. But I mean, if you're around, like training at Nathan Nelson's gym, you're around savages. Like you said, if you drop off, they're telling you, mm. and you might be doing nothing that, like to do with them. Like yeah. Nathan Nelson's just coming over to me, going, "No, you keep that sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then it's like, oh. I don't even want to drop it from 60 because yeah, Nathan's yeah. still in the gym. Like he's yeah, looking at me. It depends on like, what people you're targeting. If you're yeah. targeting people that don't train, you need to come and enjoy it. Yeah. yeah you need to got, get the yeah. love for it, like come and then. But I just mean ultimately, ultimately, like, can, can you, can you train your mind? Well, Bruv, you obviously can, you can train your mind. Anything, you can anything. As long as you really want it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, I think, I think having people, like many people that push themselves and push people around them. Yes. Yeah. I think that is a, uh, um, I think in, in some circumstances, because, because everyone's different. I think in some circumstances it helps. I personally have done both. So I've had people um, around me push me and it's like, yeah, it's great. It's great. But I've also had to, I've fought, I have had to fight in lockdown. I've been in the gym six months, just me, my coach and his son, mm. just us. And then we'll get a sparring partner in every other week here and there, getting ready and just been on my own. Nobody up my ass. Nobody, nobody, you know, obviously my coach is on my case, but I've had to, Maybe it myself. I've had to be that. I've had to put it in. Do you know what I mean? I've never had a problem with motivating myself. When I was um, still working in the amateurs, I used to be up at like four in the morning doing some road work, doing some gym, S&C, going to work in London, come back, uh, get in the gym at seven at night, get back home at 11. Next day, do it again. Didn't enjoy any of it. Didn't, I didn't want to. Getting up, I remember getting up was always hard, but I, what's the word? It, it's, it's not about get in motivated it's not about like oh my god like it's, it's a di discipline man you just you just it's just gotta be done like you know what i mean you enjoy it after. you you see you enjoy it you it's enjoy it your routine, yeah like. you end up loving so it so i think people that aren't in a sense of like aren't in a sense of like this is what they do this is what you know they take it seriously in a sense of they just want to they just want to enjoy it they just want to get a healthy lifestyle i think make it make it a routine Make it a routine, like you said. Set oh, small yeah. targets. Yeah. Set very small targets. Start getting in there. What you want to do, one five k a week. Get it in. You want to go to the session after work all the time, before work all the time. Start doing it. Get up at the same time. Just start making it a routine. Mm. And slowly, you you look at you look at things and go, I it would be weird if I didn't do this. Yeah, it'd yeah. be weird if I woke up today and didn't go to the gym or woke up today and didn't do my routine. Like I'll I, I my, yeah, but see me personally, I feel like. You're meant to struggle in life. 
It's as simple 100%. as that. You're meant to struggle. Like, I don't care what anyone says. You're not meant to enjoy going to the gym. Mm. It's not meant to be like an enjoy. Yeah, you you, you learn to love it, but mm. you know it's going to be a grueling session. Mm. You should be pushing yourself every time. Like, this is what the problem is. Like, like I said, we live in a buttercup society. We have no hardship. We wake up, we're on our phones, it's blase, we go to work, we get money, we order this, we do this. There's no hardship no more. Mm. You know what I mean? You're not out in the field doing this, doing that. Like, pause it quick. I need a piss. Yeah. How do I do that? What's the video on? You just press the little red button. Oh, he's on photo, bro. What is it on though? Like, what's it's the time? You can just let it run. We're not. We we won't speak. Eleven minutes. Yeah. Yeah. We got any more conspiracies? Did we have any? Did you have? We have any more? Oh, Touch oh, on, Kelly. Um, oh, Kelly, yeah. We went on that rant. That was a rant. A big oh, no, hole. That was a <laughs> rabbit hole rant, man. Which worked you know hard. What it isn't is, it? it's, 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 we're three people that, or four people that like to graft and we understand the importance of it. And I don't know about you lot, but I, excuses just, I, 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 you can't tell me there's not an excuse I'll accept. I, I, excuses you, unless, is just, it's, I hate people that use it, man, because it's like, you're, or someone hate a strong word bro. Yeah. no I do I hate it <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate it the excuses is like I don't know what you're even trying to make up you're literally just trying to make up some bullshit reason like no you were wrong own up to and, it hold my and hands I've, up do it and I've been there like I Everyone's feel like been I feel there. like over you know this mean? last year, with training I'd say over the last like two years maybe with three years maybe with mindset mm. but like, like yeah. I just feel like a happier person. Mm. And when you do the podcast, like it's before the podcast, my mindset changed. But when you then surround yourself with more people who are on the same sort of wavelength, it's like you just feel powerful. And then mm. you you stay up late editing. You go to the gym early morning. You you go to the gym after work or you go to work. It's like nothing feels... I'd have the most amount of money. You know why I feel like? Because you've got the goal as well. Yeah. And, and, there's yeah. A, and I there's can see that, the bigger picture. All this hard mm. shit that I'm doing, everything, the, the graph, the lot, like... I'm seeing exactly where I'm going. I'm mm. on mine. It's everyone else. I'm weird. No, I'm just, mm. I'm on the path. To everyone, get to me off the path. Else, you're Try doing too fuck much. me not. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. doing too much. You're doing too much. Yeah. yeah. Like, you, do you know why though, to everyone else, like from my opinion, that you're, they would say you're doing too much because someone like me recently, obviously COVID, I've, I've been lazy. I'm going to be mm. not lie to you. I've been lazy. I have made excuses, but I feel like because people are down there in that situation, they're looking at you doing what you're doing, which is like a normal It's because that's the majority. Yeah. yeah. It's and, a and majority. Were, so when you come out of it, everyone's like, oh no, you're fucking weird. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. fucking, yeah. I'm thriving, man. Yeah, exactly. Because you're doing what what makes you feel better. Yeah, what yeah, is yeah. better for you? Whereas mm. people down there don't want to do that. But each their own, isn't it? Like, yeah, you no, still are happy, no. yeah, you know what I mean? But I feel like for people, they need to make baby steps. For me, it's like, I don't <laughs> think I can. I could have went straight into all out doing everything. Like oh, no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, 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 yeah, I've, yeah, I've, yeah. Recently, yeah. I've been doing little baby steps where yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. It, it's so I can get back to how I was. Try and just enjoy the journey. Mm. Little steps, little I think, goals. I think, I think, I think the ultimate goal is just to give yourself a relatively healthy lifestyle, whether it's in just your food be better, it? or in your, because it does impact your health. Yeah, it does your, impact your routine your, as well. I think that's a big yeah. thing. I lost my routine over COVID, my sleep. Well, everyone pattern, did. Everyone. Everyone. I feel like yeah. if people just got enough sleep, I feel like you'd start to understand anyway. Get good, good eight hours, nine hours sleep. Get just good, solid sleep. Drink a little bit more water. Start eating a little bit better. Baby go, steps. Go, go for, for some walks. walks. Go for some walks. Go, go for, do you know what I mean? Just, I don't know. You have a, have a healthier lifestyle. Your life changes, your mindset changes. The, the where it was so cloudy, you couldn't do it. It's, it's actually I can't not do it. Do you know what I mean, how could I not do it? And you you know, I don't know. Sugar, you, yeah, all, everything changes. Just like everything changes about you, for the better, in my opinion. I think it's always good to maintain a healthy lifestyle oh. just to have a happy, healthy life. Yeah, no, it, it, it doesn't mean get up every morning at five a.m. and no, fucking yeah. no, yeah. Go Everyone's for a, different. Go for a schedule. Exactly. Day, you know what hey, I mean? Everyone, everyone gets caught up in that. Like you see mm. CEOs say, "Oh, like." I get up at like five, did I do this, I do that. Like, no, some people that's it don't matter. It yeah. don't make you it's not gonna make you more successful or less successful. Like as long as you're that's doing your, if that's the your thing. thing, that's your yeah. thing. Yeah. It don't like, matter when you're doing it, it's, yeah. it's about doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like people yeah. get a little bit caught up into that shit. Like because oh, yeah, everyone's yeah, ultimately yeah. different. We're all different people. Yeah, we all, we all have not gonna be schedules. like you watch Joe Rogan, but you're not you're not gonna be Joe Rogan. No. You're not going to be Cristiano Ronaldo. You're not no. going to be Lionel Messi. No, you're you. You're, you're you. You're you yeah. And what makes you you is perfect anyway. 
tweak these little things. Mm. Like, yeah, you can take... This is what I hate about people. You listen to someone who's successful or doing something good, like Andrew Tate, for example. Mm. Have you seen this Andrew yeah. Tate popping up? And I listen I listen to him and I think... Yeah, sometimes I get caught up and I start binge watching these people that I, I like get on a hype yeah, train and yeah, I start yeah. binge watching them. That's fair enough. I can say that. But I'm not saying... I don't agree with everything he says. I'm not. I'm not. Hmm. I, like, I'm not going to go and have twenty mistresses because he does. No, but he's a successful business person. The principles behind. So I can. I can take things off of off of what he says in business or how he carries himself or how he used to train to be a kickboxing world champion or this. You can take little things from everyone. Like Joe Rogan. I'm not necessarily going to go do the carnival diet because Joe Rogan does. But I still appreciate what Joe Rogan does. Mm. Do, do you no, see what you're, I'm saying? You're just and I, to people, and people are better moan. Than you. Yeah. And people moan about it though. They're like, "Why do you listen to him?" Oh, he he said this about this. He's doing something and better. Than it what doesn't you're matter doing. though. I'm just taking little think. bits off of what, mm. off of what the man does because he's doing something right. Mm. He's doing something someone's not doing. Yeah. Do you, do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe that's that's where people are trapped in this societal thing. And, yeah, I don't I know. Think, I think that, like you said about societal stuff. Well, like I think I feel like anyone that's up there, someone's just got to find something to hate about them. I feel like that's another thing as well. That's just to see generation you see you go on Twitter and no matter what's happening. And I'll look at it and I'll see something happen or something trending. I'll click it and I'll look at comments. I can really put it in the comments. Someone's going to be saying something awful. Someone's going to be saying, oh, yeah, but this. Oh, but that. But this. Yeah, and you're Excuse. like, it's, no, not even that. Just finding something shit to say about it. Mm-hmm. No matter what it is. You could have, someone could have posted, oh, I've just survived cancer. And then, like, girl was like, put up a photo of her, like, through chemo. She's like, oh, I've just, you know, I've just done my last session or whatever click on it and it'll be like oh I still wouldn't shag her she's dead and you're like bro yeah. like you know where, where yeah. are you at in your life to yeah yeah no, like, 100%. You, but you see that all the yeah, yeah, opinion, yeah. I see so much shit like that and I think to myself where's the yeah, but that's that? just the sad keyboard warrior yeah, yeah, like, but still they're, they're, they're out there, out there. They're, they're out there, there. they're out there they do you know what pisses me off like it's, it hurts people's feelings and that but to, obviously to me I'm just like I don't know how you let like people get it but mm. that's what I mean like it's Oh, Dude, everyone's man, society, every, remember man. everyone's different everyone's different like I don't know I think I accepted me <laughs> and Duncan talked about this well I've ever since I like decided look you know what like I'm actually going to push on with boxing I'm going to I'm going to try I'm going to I mean I'm de- dedicating my life to it I said to myself at some point I'm going to probably get good enough to be on a platform on a network or have a certain kind of following so I need to I, I'm opening myself up to anything that will come with it whether you know what I mean I can't I can't sit here and be like, oh, I'm taking all the, you know, I take all the praise they say about me. I say, everyone says I'm such a good boxer or this or this. I'd say all these good things no, and then not, the hate, and, then, and then not, not, not be here to hear the hate. Like, you know, people come in, but it's how you deal with it. I yeah. said, I seen to my mate earlier. She goes, how do you deal with like bad energy? And I went, she goes, can't you, you can just stay away from it. And I went, I hear you, but bad energy is always going to be there. I feel it's like that's when it. you made it though, man. What do you mean? When you got bad energy, when you're doing something yeah. good and you mm. got, you got hate, when you got hate, you know nah. you're doing something good. Yeah. So, you, you know, know, I mean? you, know you, you know you're on a path. Obviously, it does get to people though because you don't know what state. Because he doesn't ever look at him. He never looks at the he's camera or anything. He just always looks. Weird, at him. I'm, not, I'm not saying that, but sometimes you got a glance. Like yeah. he's oh, got to do more God, than one man. thing. Do you know what I mean? This is this is a this is a two thing job. Right now, this is a four man job. When you were sitting there, <laughs> do you know what I mean? You didn't have them problems. This man was here. He was still looking at the... He was, we were in yeah. deep convo though, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, it's understandable. Going back to your point that do you thrive off bad energy or do you dwell on it sometimes or is it a bit of both? No, nah, no, nah, I don't... It, bad oh, energy, like, like every, it's always going to be there. Like, you're going to... Your, your life... You ain't just going to wake up, do everything through your day and it's just sweet. It's just perfect. You're running to everyone and they're all good. Everyone's saying what you want them to say. It's not... It's not. That's not how it goes. Like, bad energy is going to be there. You might... Right, you might be in the shops and some some someone does something you don't like. Someone says something you don't like. Not even with you. Like someone might just say something about someone else, and you're like, "Bro, what the fuck?" Or someone like close to you might be chatting about someone. Or some like it's not always positive, innit? It's, it's how wrong. you deal with it. It's how you deal with it. Like I don't I don't thrive off it. I don't I, I try to stay away from it. In my opinion, I think when I see it, I'm just like, "Oh, not for me." Like it's just, just like, so, it's like I treat it like you go down the aisle. You look at. X, Y, Z, and you're like, you know, that's, I don't want that one. I'd rather have that. So I'm going to rather just, do you know what I mean? I'll yeah. be around people that are like, quite cool. But I'm not naive to think everyone, like I can just kind of pick to be around everyone that's quite cool. Sometimes you're going to run into people, they seem cool and then they... Yeah, so sometimes that bad energy don't motivate you. Like say when you... That's all right, that's all right. Say when you've like, so something's gone in your fight, like you lost your last one. Mm. 
and some are moaning at you or putting hate in there does that mm. not motivate you to or do you just like you said you don't really look at it do you no not really like, I had someone I made a joke like I did one of my um, Twitter faces where I was like like today after when I lost and I looked I did the scorecard face I was like I put the scorecard up that they gave him the wide one and I was just like like that like that was my first like tweet just as a joke, and I was just like making like a situation, and everyone laughed about it. Everyone was like, "Yeah, here's what it is." You know, I think we thought you won this and this and that. You did well, and there was just like one comment. It was one comment somewhere where someone was like, "Bro, you got slapped about your haircut, shit. Your kit was shit." And this, <laughs> bro, start yo gunning me. Like, you would have thought this guy knew me. Yeah, like, I was sat there and I was like, "You guys, look, listen. You know, you lost." You ran for 12 rounds. You got slapped up. You're lucky you didn't touch the floor. Listen, my boy Denzel would have fucking slapped you again. Rematch any day. This and that. Just, just chatting. And it's like, what's going West. through that guy's yeah. head? And I, I read it and I kind of laughed. I went, you know what? Like, Loki, some of that is funny, isn't it? So I, like, I laughed it off and I just kind of like, just like, what am I going to say? Look, so I've got bare people saying positive shit. Why am I going to look Focus at this on one? That one yeah. Imagine like you're driving, yeah? Like, some people do. And yeah. That's the problem, where nah. it gets uh, like, can, sad, like, especially me. on social be. media. Some people take it so to heart, man. Like, yeah, but it's not even that. Just look at all the. I always say, look at all the good things. Like, I know, man. Look at all the good. Some shit. people like, literally can't hack mm. it though. Maybe they shouldn't be on social media. Mm. I would say, look at look at life. Like, I remember one of my old girlfriends. Like, she used to be like so like negative, and some of the stuff she used to like say. I used to be like, you, like. I was like, do you know what's happened to you today? She goes, what do you mean? And I went, look, I'll list up. Look, this has happened to you. 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 And this has happened to you. But all you care about is that one little thing that bad that happened. Like, what are you doing? You got so yeah, much right. good shit that happened. And that Why ruin are you your whole day? Like, I could fixated. Like, I, yeah. But everyone, again, everyone thinks different. And I think it does. There's a certain amount of conditioning you have to do to yourself to get I think out of there. Personality. Yeah. yeah. Like you said, some personality. Pers- some people yeah. are naturally defensive. Some people yeah, are naturally. Yeah, well. Like, as soon as you say something, they bite. Some people say something. And personally for me, like, you'd have to put hands on me or put hands on, like, a family member for me to react here. I don't... I, yeah. It's just not for me. It's I think... I feel like if you're giving it... Okay, so... I feel like... And this is a bit weird way I spoke to Duncan about this again. So imagine, like... Let's say someone's giving it, someone's talking so much shit. And I think to myself, like... If I wanted to, I could kick the shit out of you. That's enough for me. That's enough for me to yeah, just leave yeah. it there. That's enough for me to just, like, like, well, all right, cool. Like, even if you're like, I haven't had anyone say anything to my face, but I've like, let's say you're looking at a comment and someone's trying to dig you out, and you're like, cool, but I know if if I was stood here, one, you wouldn't say it, and even if you did, I, I, it wouldn't, it wouldn't end well for you. So mm. I don't need to do anything about it. I can sleep easy. At night. Yeah, yeah. You, you're just assured within yourself. Yeah, yeah. I can sleep yeah. easy with that, and it's never. It's never, I don't know. I don't, and I don't even, I think there's so many good things that you can pick out from the day. Why pick out the bad ones? Yeah, no, 100%. So many good things. Why would you pick out the bad ones? Like, it, that's, 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 how, that's how I look at life. That's how I move through it. Because I think, like, your mental health is massive. It's a, it's a big thing. And if you start, I, I always think if something chips, and, chips away enough, it'll get in. So if you're going to just sit there looking at all the bad stuff, looking at this, looking at this, slowly but surely, it break you. It'll get yeah. to you. Yeah, well, people let something that happens like 10 seconds of their whole day ruin that whole day and you've got to think that's 10 seconds of your 24 hours and you've let that ruin <laughs> yeah, your you, whole you day. Yeah, you've seen that photo of like, I don't feel they, like put the really seconds, they put the seconds, they put the seconds, it's like 10,000 and something seconds in a day or something like that. Yeah. And they say, if you, if that was 10,000 pound and you lost 10 pound, <laughs> would that ruin your whole day? Mm. So why let 10 minutes or 10 seconds yeah. in a day ruin everything? Yeah. So it's a good way. Yeah. Come by oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's headspace. Maybe it's this. But I don't. I, I, you, it's. I don't know. I'm. It's hard push to. One of the things I would pride myself over. I'm quite composed. I'm quite calm. I don't. There's not a lot of things can get to me. Not a lot of things get to me unless, like I said, unless you put your hands on me or someone I care about. Yeah. Then it's a different story. But I don't. You could. You could. I've had someone say all sorts. I've had someone like you know football. Football gets mad. <laughs> football gets lively. Like you know you. You go, you go through someone, yeah. You know, everyone, everyone's big on a football pitch. Yeah, you know what I mean? everyone's talking. Every, everyone's big well, on a football. Yeah. So I had some people scream on my face and say something, and I'm thinking to myself, "Oh boy, if I if I can make you swallow all your teeth, mm. but I'm better than that. I'm bigger than that." And it's because you just, review your sensible, yeah. don't you? You review yeah. the situation, and you're like, "Bro, what's the point?" Yeah, some people can't do that, man. Mm. No, 
It's controlling like, yourself. Yeah. That's control. Yeah, but and that's, that's again, boxing taught me that. Yeah. Like, I, you know, boxing just it makes you think twice. It makes you reevaluate a situation. It makes you just kind of, and you take it into life. Whatever you do, you take it into life. What you get hit with something, you're not just gonna lose your head and go. You, that's what I mean. You, like, you, you get knocked got, down. It's yeah, not the yeah, it's not the only fucking option. Like, not, there's it's, more. It's, yeah. But even that, you get hit. You're not just gonna yeah. go. Oh my god, I got hit. I need to. No, you get hit and you think, okay, well, I've put prices go through my head. Why did I get hit? What hit, what hit me with? How do I stop that happening? How do I counter it if he throws it again? How do I do that? You think you, you loads of steps. Anyone put anything in front of me, they, you know, someone, yeah, you, this, you, that, you, that. You think about it and you go, pros and cons. Like, you know, what's, you know, at the end of the day, it's not worth it. Just does does it. any, Just like, the, me. I don't know if you've had racism towards you or anything like that. Does that, any any of that get to you or anything like that? Or do you just think who gives, like, who, I don't care? I've had it. Not enough to actually make it be noteworthy. Yeah, like, yeah Not really yeah. enough to make it be noteworthy. And but <laughs> I remember one of the um one of the ba- one of her memories I had from like school. Me, me and my brother. My brother was like, look, I I don't want to dig him out of here. But he weren't great in in school. He's a couple of years older than me. Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't great. He didn't leave a good legacy for me to go to. Yeah, like, yeah, so, yeah. So he wasn't. He wasn't. He didn't have a great rep in school. So when I went to school, being his brother was de- dead, bruv. It was done. I was done. Like you know, what I mean, I was I was getting ripped from the get go. And one time, I remember I walked on a bus and he walked on top bunk and I went top as well. And these kids were like, "Oh, look, it's big monkey, little monkey," and it's just one. It's one. It's like, you just I don't know from. from <laughs> <laughs> it's not even it's it's much, yeah. <laughs> it's a big monkey little monkey yeah but I know what type of guy is yeah. that ain't, from, that ain't from, gonna do nothing from, yeah. from when you're like I was, I was a kid so I was like alright you know what shit is what it is it just bounce it off allow it yeah, just, yeah. Know, it is what it is like you just call it character building just build some resilience you know what I mean it is what it is I'm not I, saying it's cool yeah no no but it's you not, just but I don't do know you, you think don't if everyone had that mindset people just wouldn't really be racist no more if, if no one really cared nah. about what do you, do you think that nah, sometimes because, I nah, think be- if no one reacted to like if, if you called someone something and they just go like white people if you start being racist about their kind of they really just don't give a fuck yeah. I know there's deeper issues I know there's a yeah. lot of deeper issues but I'm just saying like on a on a on a like face level basis of like being called a name if you yeah, just kind of bounced yeah. it off people would stop saying it because it doesn't annoy you do you know what I mean nah y- 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 not? yes and no yeah because I think yeah if you ignore it it just does to a it's because yeah, you're just trying to hurt someone's feelings, yeah, though, isn't it? Yeah. So if but, you say, if you try to be racist to a yeah. white person, I, it's yeah, not yeah. there, is it? Yeah, but at the same time, I think you have if, to hit if, them if you ignore to their it, nan or something. If you if you ignore it, it to an worse. extent, yeah, it gets worse. You're just brushing it under the ground. Yeah, no, you but, can't. Yeah, yeah. But if that person is like, yeah, you this, you got you this, you yeah, that, yeah, you black yeah. this. Yeah. And he gets the worst beating of his life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. guarantee you he's not doing it. Again. Yeah, yeah, it's you true. I'm, it's I, true. I'm not saying, yeah, just just hear me out. I'm not saying uh, when someone does, you know, I always say control yourself, do your thing. It's not worth, you know what I mean? It's not worth ruining whatever you built for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? The repercussions are too big for that. But the if they've gone too far, then you know yeah. what to do, man. Look, jab, jab, oos. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, isn't it? But I think I do hear what you're saying. I think no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Away, I always got taught to walk away from it. But but like you said, when you say it like that, there's there's layers again there's to layers. everything we sp- we've been speaking about. There's 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 a face level and then there's layers. Like someone sitting there, like like you said, you golly wog, you this, you that, you this, and they're just going. That that then becomes bullying, like bad, like yeah. racism. You know, like with football, you've played around it. It can be kind of jokey and yeah. not serious. Like they don't even know people might be being racist. They don't even know they're being racist because they don't yeah. know no different. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like, like it's definitely there's different banner, sorts of like banner, layers, but then layers, it's like racist. I remember, <laughs> layers again. I tell you, yeah, layers. Yeah, I yeah. tell you something like you about not being racist. So it might, I worked for this company. I won't say names. I won't say nothing. The the guy that owned it was. Old geezer, old geezer, yeah, and um, oh, wait, <laughs> old school, yeah. old, old <laughs> school, yeah. So, anyways, slave master shit. I was, <laughs> I was the only black one working there, straight apprentice. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, we, and I remember like he'd, uh, I can't, like, I remember the first like sense of something. Yeah, it was like we was, was, I can't remember what we were doing. He got a um little blood blister, yeah, and this is the first time I ever heard this phrase. I never heard it before in my life. And he's like, oh, oh, I got a black man's pinch. And I've gone, what? I was like, what? What was that? And he's like, what? And I went, 
That's really what it's called. Yeah, what's the black magic? I've never heard it. Have you never heard it? I've never heard it. My mum told us it. Yeah, yeah, no. Basically, when you like, when you like, let's say you pinch your finger between like black, and it just the dead. No, no, it's like you know when it goes red like a red blister underneath, like purple. It's like a blood blister. Yeah. Yeah. So and I was like, what do you mean? What's why would you call it a black man's pinch? And he goes. Well, it, it's black. It looks like a black man's pinch me. <laughs> 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 I was laughing, but I was like, Whoa. "That's what yeah. you yeah, that's I, what I've known." Yeah, yeah, I've always yeah, known I'm it as black man's what? pinch as well. And, and then, yeah. like you know, as 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 um, as like you know, worked in this company over the years. Like, I remember one time he was um, what was it? You know, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Yeah, he does. He doesn't know. I didn't know there was an old version. Yeah, but he was doing the old version. I I. You know, catch a tiger by the toe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's what yeah, I know, yeah, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My guy goes, any, meeny, miny, mo, catch a nigger by the toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he just, he just, just I, I was just, I was like, wiring up this lie. I, was, I heard it, I was like, what did he just say what I think he said? And he went, I'm not involved. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and I, and I got over and I was like, John, what's... Yeah, am I am I all right here? Like, yeah. you know, can I put my am I handing in my notice? What's going on? Like, and he's like, no, 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 it's not even like that. Oh, no, no, it was just that's how we. Like, like, we people generally don't know yeah. they're being oh. like they generally don't know they're being. But that's how mad it is it's racist. So, but yeah. they generally it's they're so, so like, warped deep into into the culture. Yeah, yeah. like mm. they don't they, they, don't they know. haven't learned with the times. Yeah, mm. the, the, which... the, some people generally don't know they're being, and that's like the white culture. Like my mate's yeah. dad, like. It's mad because he's just like not far from, he, he don't come far from Luton, but I don't think he, the first time he saw a black man was like when he was 16. And he's not that old. He's only like You know, Dunstable was one of the most racist, the latest racist towns. Really? In Quite England. Instant. Yeah, in England. Like it was the latest race, one of the latest racist towns in England. Like it was still that bad. Yeah, to, to, to be fair, like look, I don't think, and I'm not areas. saying it's even that bad. Like I grew up and done for my whole life. I've not really had no yeah. issues. I've personally never had not really had no issues. Grounded. Not of people, and, and and any issues I have had, it weren't of people. It it was like you, you can like, see it as you look like a native, mate. Yeah, you can see it as them not knowing. Yeah. Like you said, like they didn't because they're not around people like that of people of color or whatever. They don't know they're being offensive. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like I've I've had the most kind-hearted people say things, and it's like. No, I know they're not being racist because they're like, <laughs> they're kind, they're so, they don't know, bro. Kind of. they're not, yeah, yeah, like, like yeah, one minute, let me, got, let me use got, an example. We had uh, this, this, we had, <laughs> I got a good one. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna like go into it. We I've had, got, we I've had paint, we had some sort of paint on our face and they were like, oh, you just look, look like gollywogs. <laughs> 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 yeah, but we had like dark paint on our face. They're like, yeah, you look like you look like a gollywog, and I'm like, <laughs> and I don't know what a gollywog is. <laughs> are you dickhead? It's a Fijian flag, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, but they are like, they are not like they, <laughs> yeah, would, yeah, yeah. they are not racist at all. Like they've done like they're the most kind-hearted people, and it's like, who was it? No, no, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. <laughs> that. But, but, um, but, like, they haven't got racist bone in their body. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, but they don't know that. Like, people, I, I didn't find that offensive because I didn't know what a gollywog was, and I don't really care what a gollywog was. Yeah. They weren't like you, gollywog. Yeah. They're like you just look like a gollywog, which I don't think there's nothing wrong with saying that because they were things. They were yeah. toys. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got. I so, don't know, so I got. <laughs> you yeah. don't want to comment. Let's so, know. So you know, imagine as well, like you like must have got it through, like just, just like not even someone being. Racist. I, I've been, I went out with, um, I was one of my exes with her for years and she was a little bit more middle class. And it's not, it's not, I don't think it's, it was anything to do with that, but it was just that where they've, not my, their family, I just think some of the, we, I went to, let me just, let me just tell the story. I went to a horse riding do. She was, she, she, rides, she rode horses. I went to a horse riding do. I just thought it was like a football do. And crazy, she goes, no, nah, no, nah, you got, you got to go get a tuxedo. Yeah, you got to yeah, go get this, yeah. you got to get it. Bro, I've, I've gone in there. Yeah. They are middle aged whites. This, so. this mansion, I've never seen anything like it. We got there and the guy, this is how I knew it was going to be a long night. Yeah. So I've opened the door and the guy that takes your coat, he, the way he looked at it, he was like, he took my coat, he double took, he was like, yo, you're the only one here for miles. Let, I'm just letting <laughs> you know. Like, I'm just letting you know. Anyway, gone in, yeah, sat down, everyone sat down on this table. And then um, someone asked me, someone was like, oh, yeah, Linus, sir, I don't know how you, uh, I don't know where you are, like, financially or nothing, but we normally get like a bottle of the table each. Like, are you, are you good for that? And I was like, okay, so no one knows each other here, yeah? 
And you've only asked me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's not like you knew everyone and you're like, you know, everyone, we've done this before, but yeah. you only asked me. I ain't, I ain't going to take it to heart. I ain't going to, I'm just, look, you, it is what it is. I'm, it's because I'm young. It's, it's going to be naive. It's because I'm young. It's cool. It was like 20 quid. I was like, you're taking a piss. I'll, I'll buy two, bro. <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. Anyways, whatever, whatever. I let it go. I got sat next to this guy and it just, it just got worse because he come up to me and he's like, yo, yeah, what's going on? Um, yeah, where are you from anyway? What'd you it's do? Like they want to like, test you. Yeah, no, 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 no. It wasn't even that. It was, I'd say they were trying to, this guy was trying to relate to me, but the only way he felt like he knew how to relate to me was my my culture, my colour. You know what I mean? That's how, but yeah, let me, let me just tell you how this goes. So we're sat there, they bring out this food. You know what, like, you know, dinners are like, you mm. know, posh, but it's just little, it's not a lot. It's caviar. Do you know, it, nah, but it's just tiny, but it nah, was like, yeah. fit, anyways, I'm you eating it. Like, I was like, yo, this is, this is, it's great, but it's, it's not a lot. Mm. And the guy's like, oh yeah, you know, he started talking all funny and he's like, oh yeah, you know, oh, this food's a bit dead, man. It's, what's going on here? He's like 50, man. They do do yeah. that, don't and they? He, and he's they like, do do hey, that, listen, to, listen to this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen to this. Out of you, yeah, man. Listen, listen to this, yeah, listen to this. He goes, oh, it's, it's a bit dead, man. It's a bit dead. Oh, you know, they need to get some jerk chicken in here. And I'm oh. like, and, I, and, I, and I'm like, and I'm like, that's how you, like, I, was like, I, I, like, I was like, I almost said to him, name, name, name any other food. Name, name something else. Name something else, another Caribbean, like because he named something else. Because I, oh, I bet you all you know is that. But anyways, I, I left it alone. I went. Is there, is there any reason you said it just to me, or like, <laughs> yeah? Is there, is there any reason? Anyways, I just <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. cool. <laughs> anyway, let, let her learn. There, um, got up, got on a dance floor. I'm, I'm multi. I'm, I'm open minded. I dance to anything, bro. Like eighties funk. I don't give a fuck. I, I, I get, I get on there. So I'm dancing like away. Yeah. Funk, and this guy come over to me. And he's like, he got his arm around me. He's like, oh man, this music's a bit dead in it. And I was like. Oh. <laughs> Go on, go ahead. Say it, say it, say it. I know you're going to say it, say it. And he's like, oh, yeah, we need some, like, two-pack or 50 cent. Yeah. And, I'm like, and I'm like, oh. I was like, you know what it is? You know what it is? I was like, cringe, do, you know, do you know what it is? Yeah, I know you, do, like, you don't, you're not doing it on purpose. You're not coming over to, but he's doing too you're much. doing what you think is going to make me feel comfortable here. All you're doing is letting me know I'm the only black one here. Yeah. That's all you're doing. You're yeah, just letting yeah. me know I'm the Ooh, yeah. you're only you're, all you're doing is letting me know I'm the only black person in this place. And it was just it's just one of them. It's just oh man, it's just it's cringy, it hurts, but it's it's is what it is. Like you said, they don't know, they don't really they no. just think it's normal. See, to me like, that's not like malicious. It's not malicious. Do you know what I mean? Like I see it's it as pe- like, it still hurts. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 hundred percent. But it's like it's sort of similar, like, imagine a white person went in an all-black neighbourhood. Do you know what I mean? It kind of be like, it's similar in a way for them. Do, yeah. you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. But to me, a... malicious is like... Uh, they'd be more ruthless, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I agree with that. Yeah. Agree with that. <laughs> well, it's like the Chief <laughs> Key thing. Wasn't that, that Asian <laughs> geezer? Was it, but that, that's that... how they have banter. Yeah. That's yeah. how that's that is. It is, is completely different to different cultures. cultures. completely it different, man. No. Completely different. I'll tell you the second one. This one was... I mean, it was innocent. So imagine, so I'm in this pub in Dunstable. I won't say it's in Dunstable. Though. I told you Dunstable uh, was, nah. was the latest well, racist hang place. On, hang on, listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. So I'm sat on a table, yeah, and I'm the darkest one on the table. And there's this old couple next to me, and they, we've we've been having back and forth banter. We've been like, oh, we're like doing a pub quiz. Everyone's doing a pub quiz. We have got papers. Like it'll be like name this, um, name this person, and it'll be a picture of someone. You got to just write a name, and you got to do this. It'll ask you like loads of random questions. So. I'm good at, I, I know I'm good at geography. I've like, ran, that's one of the random things I'm really good at. I'm good at geography. I know where places are. I know what their capital cities are. I know what their flag is. You know, and it's just things that I really got into as a kid, but for no reason, I just liked it. And um, so, they, um, what was it? It was like, one of the, the question was like, Akara is the capital of which African country and I straight away Ghana I know that not because I'm black not because I'm not even from there but that is my point is I just knew because of my geographical knowledge mm. anyways I've said it I've said it before the question even finished and everyone was like you sure and I went bruv it is just just put it down anyways boys put it down anyways question comes out and I'm like they said yeah it's Ghana and I went I told you that's what I told you I was going nuts I was like I told you I told you I told you it was that oh when leans over and goes it would have been a shame if you got that wrong and I was just like, <laughs> oh, do you know? Do you know when? Do you know? Do you know when you're like, oh, the old people are the most ruthless with it. <laughs> oh, I swear down, the older people oh, don't give oh, a fuck. I was sat there, I had my jaw. I was like, I, 
don't know whether to laugh. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. What, what? Because she was just, it just, she just said it. It was, it weren't even, it weren't even like anything wrong. She now just old said people it. literally just, just say it. things. Right? Yeah, they just say it. So like, I don't think they realise what they say. I think old people are very selfish because oh. even when you go in a shopping centre, yeah. They just they just stop in front of the doorway and stuff like that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, they, no, no, no. Honestly, they they yeah, feel like in, they feel. <laughs> 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 Roll me back in, man. Roll me back yeah. in. Yeah, but nah, nah it was just no, it was just like, I don't know. It was just one of those where it's like, <laughs> where am I, bro? Where am yeah. I? What's going on, like? It's like 2020, bro. We're not what's... in Alabama. Yeah, what's... <laughs> where's the Confederate flag? Yeah. Bro? I'm like, what's What's going on? It was just, yeah, it's mad. I can't, there's like, some other stuff that's happened, but I, it's just yeah. not worth, I'm not going to put that on there. Like. Do you ever have any issues of like older white women wanting to touch your hair? Oh, I think it's not about older white women. It's just certain white people in general. Like yeah. I get it out and like two days ago, some girl was like, oh, can I touch it? You touch it, I'll deck you. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> I don't do that. I just, just stop it, man. You don't see me coming over to you. Oh, can I touch your yeah. titties or something? What do you think it is? Can you fucking titties there? <laughs> no, but it's, 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 I don't know. That I, I personally, I'm like, well, I have it, like when I, you know what it's like, when you have it all out and all up, it's, you don't want it, someone touch it, it just goes out. Uh, yeah, yeah, all, yeah, yeah. Anybody yeah, in, yeah. in general well. don't like their hair being touched by other people. But my friend at work, hands, man. my friend at work, there was an old lady that works at us, uh, my company, and she was like wanted to touch his hair, and she touched it without him looking one day, and like I was always confused to why she wanted to do that, why white people. Well, wanted I can to do tell that. you, man, you got to ask one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got a fetish. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is because it's not the other way round. Afro turf. I don't. I don't. I don't think I don't I've know. really ever seen like a lot of black people be like, "Oh, can I touch your hair?" Like, yeah. I don't know. Have I? That's weird. No. Nah. Mine's kind of curly. I've, I've. I don't know. Like now it's long. I'm like, like you said, don't fucking touch it. Shall be like, what's or like when you're out and people like drunk and they're like, yeah, and they're like, you look at roughing my hair, and I'm like, oh, it's gonna be you fucking peak in a minute, man. Your boy ain't trying to catch a case, but fuck off me, long. Greasy hands, like I don't know where you put in your hands. Yeah, on a my beer, hair's clean, beer man. on the hands. Now there's beer in the boy's Just hair. Just don't, don't come over to me like I'm some fucking animal, bro. Like, <laughs> can I touch you? Can I touch it? I'm like, why am I some dog? Like, what yeah, you like, yeah. You know what I mean, like, but I don't know. I just, just I, I, I can only speak for myself. That's right? a random question, though. Yeah, well, it wasn't a bad one. It was no, kind it was... of in in. It was better than the pillow one. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was better than the pillow one. No, it was so I've kind of experienced recently at work. Like, Hello, talk, man. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, man. What are we? Are we hitting this arc early thing up? What happened to him? You got sentenced for thirty years, years today. for sex trafficking, isn't it? Will it be death? Nah, he 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 won't. Well, he's, how he's old still is he allegations. Though? How old is yeah, he? I think though? his stuff is still pending. Yeah, he'll die in there because he'll get more stuff. Yeah. yeah. You get a little bump and grind. No, you not seen, you not seen the video of them him singing in there. Nah. The guy's like, yeah, like I'm on a call, like sing, sing to my missus for me, and he's like, there ain't nothing wrong, like he's singing down the phone for people. He's yeah. walked, man. But I suppose in like up there, man, you probably do get some freaks in you, mm. man. I'll put a question. Epstein no, 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 no. One, one minute. Let me, sorry to interrupt you, Epstein. but I just need to go with this one because I was thinking about it at work. Them people with fame are fucking weird. They're fucking weird. Um, yeah, Epstein, he one I of think, them. I think, freak. I think, I think everyone's weird. But the money fame in the, exposes certain people. Yeah, bro, future and that. Everyone's I see a video weird. come out the other day of this girl. Yeah, and what the fuck she doing anyway? <clears> what the hell is this all about? She, future and is like she does must do some sort of music. Future's like, oh, come to the studio. Me and Kanye are recording. So this is future working on his latest album. Nah, this was that that only fans model that Eliza. Yeah, she said Aliza she she made some sort of music off, like, as eight well. NBA players in one. Night. Was this this bitch? Yeah. Well, anyway, she. <laughs> Ooh, no wonder why she got treated <laughs> yeah. like that to be fair but they're making her she, they bring her to the studio and she's saying like she thought she was gonna like do some sort of singing like show him some music or something and he goes get naked and just twerk and she said she was standing why would why would you get naked and twerk anyway she did it yeah she, she just stood away. there in the studio got na butt naked and she was just twerking for hours and they were just recording music I love that 
<laughs> but what? What is? What? Why would she do that? Why would you even do that? Yeah, what, was, what, what, would she come out after and moan? No, I don't know. No, she wasn't moaning. She was just talking about it. But I was kind of like, I didn't. I didn't know about she. Her, she I didn't know her about having the Gluck Gluck Nine Thousand. You, yeah. you, you get famous over that shit in America, yeah, man. Didn't you say Kanye West? Yeah, someone was round his house and they were just watching porn. Me? Wait, that's yeah, not normal. Yeah, you told me that. Yeah, really yeah, and he what? he ate like some sort of random pie, some like pie, and then they were just watching porn on the like the big TV. Him and Kanye. But you don't. You don't, you don't, do I don't oh, bro, where the fuck? He told me this, this story. He watched this thing, and this what, guy no, was. No, none of you lot do that with your boy. <laughs> <laughs> even even Duncan Superman Wait, MMA. Yeah, what? Hot pie, hot pie. Yeah, yeah right. Stifflers, Stifflers house. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, American Pie, man, probably one of the best films. Sick film, man. But such Fucking... a good. That's when times were good. They did because Kim K was making the pie or something like that. You know her video, yeah, online. Sex tape. Yeah, she had to agree for that to be still online. I know. You know? That's what's I crazy. Heard this the I other day. I didn't know. No, and Ray J. Day. No, and Ray J. Saying that it, it, him and Kim Kardashian's mum, Kim Kardashian, actually planned it. Planned it. Yeah. Like it was planned. Yeah. What the fuck's going on? She now? was on, definitely on the side. Is she the gurney? Yeah. Was she gurning? Yeah, yeah, yeah she was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not being funny. Being on a bit of snuzzle ain't going to make you film a sex tape. I think she said it she out. was manned up. That might make she you put a sex Molly. tape out. You know Did what I mean? you see like a couple? Nah, I think she was putting that sex tape out regardless, man. She's like a, she's she's a clout chaser. Yeah. yeah. She's like, oh, look at me. I look good. And this is what I'm saying when I say, like, I had an argument with someone because I said, they said Kylie Jenner is a self-made billionaire. I goes, Kylie Jenner is not a self-made billionaire. She's made a billion. Fair play to her. She's done something right using her family's name. A self-made billionaire is someone who's come up from working class and made a billion. Not her. She had all the platform. She had name. She had every resource. She should be a billionaire. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't want to hate it. it. Hard, but you can't, yeah, yeah. you can't people comparing her to Jay-Z. And I'm like, you nah. can't compare her to Jay-Z. The man come from nothing. The gutter. Jay-Z's yeah. a made a billion. Go. They're two goats. Beyonce's a goat. Like she's still killing it with songs. Yeah, like, that's she, song she a just song brought out day, today. Banger, she's still banging, mm, banger. The yeah. little dance anthem. I'm fucking with it. She's a milf. Mad. This man's all me. <laughs> <laughs> she's not a milf. She is. She's she a is, bad she beat. Man. And I'm just here, like, if I speak. Yeah. <laughs> if I speak. <laughs> uh, just, just, Insert Jay Marino. Uh, yeah. If I speak, I'm in so trouble. I'm just keeping my head down for this one. Keeping my head down. <laughs> Man's this trying to fully get out of his like, wishing on you. Know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, I was like, like, yo, you see me ducking into my chair. Why are you coming <laughs> at me? Like, <laughs> out of it, man. The man just come back from Bath. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about he ain't upper like, class Norfolk, and all Norfolk, that. Norfolk, man. hey. Oh, I'm not even helping myself, am I? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and R. Kelly, I don't know what fuck shit yeah. he's on. But he's saying now he was abused when he was younger. Or, no, I don't know. He's playing that, 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 don't, right. that don't mean. No, it doesn't mean anything. I'm just saying, like this is this is back to him though. Will he still play his music or not? I don't really play his music anyway, yeah. but I do. Yeah. I do like his music. Yeah, I'd be lying if I said but he ain't got some bangers. Mad, but like, if we look back, like the bangers, he's were about little like, little girls, like little girls and that. True. Yeah, I, I don't think he should be allowed to play his music because he still had money off that, right? But well, if they but they won't play his music and they've completely like I remember Joe Rogan was playing his music in the studio not that long ago. He's like, yeah, he's fucked up, man. But this is this song's a banger. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan, you know? Joe Rogan, the guy. He's a banger. He, he did make good music, you know. We can. We but but then it's enough. like, what is it about though? If it's about the all these young girls, messy, it's like because he was. You seen yeah, that video of when he's in the crowd and the girls are touching his piece and he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. he's like. Like thrusting forward it's fucking weird have you seen that video it thrusting it. you've not seen that I'll show you after it gets fucking weird man it gets wild <laughs> I'm not sure I want to see it bro um, come get that Jesus we'll go please. on to A- Aliens is the big one I think I, I, alien, I to me obviously, I just I think, think you're dumb if you think there's yeah. nothing else we can only yeah. be this life yeah. And I even think yeah, you go to places like Saturn and Uranus, all gas things that are just made up of gas molecules and that. I think there's some sort of living gases in there. Do you know what I mean? There might not be living organisms like us, like yeah, human are, beings, yeah, but, they, but I think yeah, gas, there could is, be is, gas. Is it a gas? Like, <laughs> where's, like, we're, we're just listening to people showing data no, I, from NASA. I'm and just, like, yeah. Well, yeah. That's what yeah. I mean. It's hard. Like, what's real? What's no, didn't they, like, drop, didn't they drop a camera into like Saturn or Uranus and did you not? Like, yeah, it was just we like, listening, we're listening to this if data. If it's true, yeah. But I don't know what people, else to go it, off like, there. Like, I can, I can. That's what I'm saying. I need to fucking see things. I need to go. I, yeah, I need to. Yeah, I need to go, man. You need like, to get on that Richard Branson. Yeah, I, 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 if I could go <laughs> something like that and like have a look, I'd be like, yeah. 
Would, would, yeah. If they said to you, yeah. Okay, this is... Because uh, the they, they, world bullshit is about too much shit, man. If, if they said to you, like, there's a journey there to another planet, but there's not there's a possibility that you won't come back, would you do it just for self peace of mind? Fuck that. It's not that, worth it. There's a possibility you, like you, won't you won't come back. Yeah, yeah. I, I get booked out on planes now. Going to Barcelona the other day, I was a bit like, <laughs> I don't know, I didn't like that. Do you know what I mean? I didn't well, like I that. always imagine, terminals. like, imagine nah, I was well, he was coming like, down hot. The engine stop, and we're just like, I just, I'm not you great do, party, man. You're done, man. You're done. Yeah, yeah. You're done, bro. That's what I mean. Get it, they should have, like, parachute seats, and they just. Do you know what I mean? Through where? I wonder Through if you could go on there with your own parachute or something. Nah, I ain't gonna work, bro. No, but they hey, could make to... solely with technology now. They could make it where bro, it that, opens up that, and just that everyone video pops out. I showed out. you the other day. They're building a plane for fucking five thousand passengers. This plane it stays in the air. It stays in the air. So Doesn't there's come out of the air. there's a theater, casino. A it's like a cruise. Yeah. It's an air cruise. It's, it's an air cruise. Yeah. What's all that about? Nah, I'm trying to see that. I didn't that try. Logistically, how's that even gonna work? Don't know, but the plane is they'll, massive. Man. They'll get planes and stuff to come and sit on top of them and refuel them and drop supplies in. Sounds like there's too many moving parts. Yeah, exactly. Too many moving parts. Surely. It's just a waste of money. <clears throat> like, there's yeah. things going on in the world that who the fuck wants to be towards. up in the sky that long? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And plus, you know what? Like, obviously, back to UFOs and that. I know, we like, cut just, off that quick. Yeah. 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 We're spiraling, bro. Someone's yeah. got to do it. Someone's got to bring it back. This is why he's, um, he's the co-co-host. Uh, <laughs> you know like, what I mean? Like, um, <laughs> where you look at like only, only like seven percent of the ocean has been discovered. That's oh, bro, seven percent is a scarily all we're small miss, number. All, all, we're, all we're missing in is a zips <laughs> 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 or an edible, <laughs> yeah, an edible or something. Seven and get a real fucking. Like what? Like with all due respect, like why are we trying to like do space? But we ain't even found out. Like that—that that is aliens here. down there. You, like like even the uh, fishes with the light bulb on their head. It's so dark down there that they've adapted to have a light bulb on their head. <laughs> yeah, How fucking brain. mad! If they found that on the moon right now, they'd be like aliens. Duh, yeah. duh, duh, duh. There's aliens down there. No, like we're yeah, saying, like, there's like you said, there's so much like under there. But it's because people know we need to get off of here. Ain't there like Mount Everest worth of things? Under there, like yeah. you can fit oh, yeah. so many Mount yeah. Everest yeah. under there. Massive, yeah, yeah. massive. Yeah, if you remember, you have like eight percent water or something like that. Yeah, and the the amount of countries that eight percent water is a lot of water, man. There's a lot yeah. to fucking go discover. Uh, I know, obviously, pressure is a massive part. Like, it stops it. From, yeah, but I, I just I don't know. I think to myself, they're like, saying water could still wipe out. Like, is it? Is it LA? Parts of LA? Or where's where's the part in America where it's like there? They're gonna say something. Yeah, I think it is. It's, it's California, LA, isn't, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Of certain, Might, like, it sinks a certain like... about every couple of every year. Mm, yeah. It sinks a certain amount. And Venice is flooding as well in um in Italy, isn't Venice it? Venice has always been flooding. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's getting worse. Like oh, yeah. yeah, proper bad. Tsunami shit, man. You know what would be mad? Imagine like a tornado. Do you go tornado hunting? Nah, not really. I just don't think the risk and rewards even even good enough to do that. You get sucked up into that, you are fucked. No. <laughs> You're just gonna spat you out like, you, 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 you are that, fucked. It, that is so mad, isn't it? Like it can produce a tornado. Yeah. Like deep it, man. You ever watched a film tornado? Yeah, yeah, that's a good film, man. Fuck you. Do you know what's a good film? Do you like space and stuff like that? You watch Interstellar? Yeah. Oh, banger. Oh, OG, OG film. Banger. Oh, you know what? You know what I love? Yeah, I love the, I love the theories. I love yeah. I love the, oh, here, and then here, and then space time, and then this. I love, I love. Do you he, know what I love? His brain is, oh, uh, how he made that he's the, I think he's best, in my opinion, best director. Nah, he is. Steve, uh, What's the other film with the, where they flick the dice? Oh, um, Inception. Oh, dreams and that. Yeah, yeah. accepted. Yeah, oh, same, same thing. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I, I love the what if. Drugs. Yeah, what was the the Martian as well was one, isn't it? Yeah, the Martian was one. I didn't. Going I to big planets and certain things. Yeah, oh, it's just I love it. I love space. I love like. It's, it's when the they unknown, went on that planet with the with the water. And it was like oh everything's like eighty five yeah and waves. it's like trying to wrap your head around I'm watching a film and I'm, I'm now I'm doing math and I'm yeah. like he gets off the planet and the geezer's old because yeah because in that planet one day it's like twenty years or something yeah like that. yeah yeah and it's that is like, mad what like it's just yeah oh it's like, mad it's, it. yeah, yeah, it's mad film. like when we look at like like now like when we're looking at stars and that there a lot of stars are dead so you're actually looking at them back in time because the light has to travel through space. 
It's slow. So if they so had a tele- like, so if planets man. theoretically from different galaxies had a telescope on us, they they could be seeing like the Roman times and stuff like that. Theoretic. Theoretically, I don't because of the yeah, light. Yeah. You're yeah. cheap, <laughs> man. <laughs> 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 not qualified to... I yeah, thought, yeah, 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 yeah. Because of light, well, you're seeing light. I don't think you'd be able to to see bangs. We're not, we can't see the star bang on, but we're just seeing the light from yeah. the star. So it's like when you look at the moon, it's like they say three seconds. So it's three seconds behind or three seconds forward. I don't know. I think it's three seconds behind. You know they were gonna shoot a nuke, a nuke at the moon. Before, because they didn't know what it was. That's that's killer. Shit, yeah, they they yeah. didn't know what they the didn't they didn't controls. understand. They were gonna shoot. I watched the, the it. The, the waves. They were waves gonna they everything. were gonna shoot a yeah. nuke at the moon. <laughs> yeah, every every, every sort you know you know if it hit the moon and and the ripple of the moon would yeah like it would fuck the world. Just the ripple of the moon would fuck the world. More time, wouldn't we just get hit by shards of the moon? Yeah, straight away. But they were thinking of of doing something weird like that. Some America shit, bruv. Yeah, but uh. We've been we've been running for a while, man. Change yeah, shit. Long, two and a half, long, I think. Two and a half, yeah. Two and a half. Boy. Longest pod. Boy. Ne- obviously, next time you're back, I have to give you a shirt or something for, for you, you made your hat trick. Made my hat trick. Yeah. What kind of shirt is it? Loot one. No, it'd just be my one. My curious V G M one. <laughs> Oh, if we meant like your own, like, but I ain't wearing your shirt. <laughs> no, not one of mine. <laughs> like, no. It's like, yeah, someone, like, taking, like someone's I'm, missing, bro. I'm taking them out. Not washed or nothing. Giving me my shirt, bro. <laughs> you, you're, you're a big, big brother now anyway. You live here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Rain's been demoted to the small room and Linus has taken your room. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, I appreciate you coming on, man. I know you love the old current events and it weren't really current, but we were just going. Yeah, we That's went on some fucking spiraled. rabbit holes and I'm it's hot. Spiraled. That's mad. You can tell. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for. Thanks for. No, 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 it's all right, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for coming to your house. <laughs> uh, any any words from you, last word? No. Tired. <laughs> what time is it now? <laughs> Half ten. Fucking no. No, twenty to eleven. Bedtime. But uh, man. people, please just like, subscribe. Oh, we did not to Matt. Um, meant to announce the winner of the giveaway, weren't we? Do it, bruv. No, I don't even know who it is. Hardly anyone fucking entered this game. I, well just, I could put everyone's name in a hat right now and pick it out. It was that low. Uh, we'll just do it uh, when you do them things and just put it on Instagram. Oh, do you out. know everyone? Not off the top of my head, but there weren't that many. There's like 12 people. Pussy. You were one of them. You were one of them. You were... Yeah. Well, someone's got to win. I'll win them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we'll announce that. Just uh, <laughs> like, hit the bell, subscribe, and uh, peace, people.